You ready? Yeah, bitch. Uh, you're listening to Come Town. Come Town USA. The official podcast of the Come Boys. East Coast chapter. That's right, bitch. Uh, there's a West Coast, um, I wouldn't even call it a chapter, but I don't know if you saw A this, rogue organization. A rogue organization that stole our fucking name. <laughs> uh, it's mostly just Brandon Wardell. Brandon Wardell, who else? Was but it Hampton? This is the, yeah, Hampton was in there too. And then some other fucking clown. <laughs> a Vine some guy, other, I believe. Yeah, some Vine guy who's never come in his life. I bet he came. He's never done a single come. I love to come, personally. Uh, I do, too. That's why we're the Come Boys. New Woo. York Originals, baby. Only uh, in New York, baby. And this is the most highly anticipated podcast. Uh, people have been demanding it. I don't know Hell. about you, but on my DMs, I've got people every single day hitting me up saying, when are you... When are you going to make a podcast? Yeah, me too. Um, I am Mall Dog, Nick Mullen, <laughs> the most popular man on Twitter. <laughs> most Twitter's successful. suppressing you or else you'd have way more followers. Yeah, dude. They have to delete uh, 10,000 followers of mine a day. Because the bandwidth. They don't have enough bandwidth they don't for have it. The, yeah, it's the bandwidth. That's a big issue. Uh, my guest is Stavros Halkius. How we doing? Uh, another Comboy original. Absolutely, bitch. Yeah. And I don't know, have we decided whether you're going to be a regular? I'm down. I'm down right. to fuck. Yeah, so then we're going to, we're both hosting the podcast. <laughs> you just, <laughs> you just listen to it organically. Yeah. Dude, this will go down in history when we've done seven of these and decide to quit. Yeah. At the Wikipedia page. Well, yeah, I, th I feel like at that point that'll... I'll feel good about the purchase of all this equipment. <laughs> <laughs> when you can't pay rent. Yeah, yeah, when I can't pay rent and I still have $500 worth of podcasting equipment that I paid for mm -hmm. over the course of a year. We're building a green room, too. A green yeah, screen we got room. a green. We got a studio. <laughs> it's called the Anthony Cumia Studio 2. <laughs> and it's in Uptown. Uptown, Not Midtown, baby. baby. It's Fuck Upper West shit. Side. That's where the shit is. We're in a fucking opti optometrist office. Yeah. In the back. Um. No offense to the Anthony Cumia studio. They're great guys. Absolutely over not. There. They got no. a lot of great content. The Gavin McInnes show. Uh, the other racist. There's uh, <laughs> another show that's just racist. I love how we we already recorded one of these, by the way, and then we just didn't put it out because we shit on too many people. But here we are, baby. Yeah. Three no. minutes in. This is take two, guys. We had to do. We had to delete the first one because. Uh, well, it was kind of counterproductive. <laughs> um, a lot of shit talking, but that's what, you know, I don't feel, is there a shit talking podcast? Is there nah, dude. burning Everything. the bridges that's with good. Mark Marin? We should do burning the bridges and it's just you saying everything you believe and think and me just like trying to distance myself from it as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, I don't know. He seems kind of nice, Nick. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't actually, I don't have, I wouldn't say I have shitty beliefs. It's just, there's so much you like, I feel like I just can't say. Sure. That as soon as I get behind closed doors, you know, it's like the N-word. The N-word, right, exactly. <laughs> it's almost like everything now is the N-word, where I don't, you know, if you just want to say it in the bathroom because you can't, it's the N-word and the N-word and a lot of opinions. It's like this when, so good. yeah, Keep when going. Like you have like an itch in your asshole mm -hmm. and you, you're done and you just have to run into Starbucks and just, and just say the N-word in the bathroom real quick. That happens. How many times a day do you think that happens to you? Every time I pass a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> now, is every, a black barista yeah, working yeah, yeah. at the Starbucks? It's, uh, every Starbucks in Manhattan. <laughs> I've, uh, that's why I'm not allowed in the bathroom, folks. There he is. Uh-oh. Transition time. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about trans bathroom stuff? I don't fuck. Come on, man. I'm all pro whatever trans people want to do. Right. That's how I feel. <sighs> get, Let get anybody use any bathroom. Yeah, although I will say at my office there's like a communal bathroom mm -hmm. and I just saw a woman uh, washing her hands while I was about to go take a heinous shit and it took me a couple extra beats. Well, that's because you're a pussy, dude. That's true. If you weren't a pussy, you would just shit right there in the sink next to her. <laughs> because no, that's you're what right. she asked for. She wanted gender equality. She got it. That's now true. she's going to have to deal with, with that, with the reality of a man's body. That's exactly releasing a man's sized turd into a wash basin. I think you're right. You're right. I'm a pussy and I'm gay, uh, and I don't like to fuck. Psych. 
Yeah. Oh, you got me. I <laughs> got it for job. a sec. That's classic joke structure, guys. Yeah, guys. Uh, if you don't know, we're both professional comedians. Both professional stand-up comedians. Uh, you Mullen. Call that, you call that a derailment joke. Mullen lives in a uh, Chinese family's extra closet, and I live in an 8 by 8 windowless room in Astoria, so we're both doing good as fuck. We're doing great. Well, I mean, to live with a Chinese family is, like, shitty, but I'll keep in mind I live in Manhattan. That's true. That's true. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, we're, the basically, co- Gordon Gecko over <laughs> here, folks. It's Chinatown. I call it the financial district. That's right, just because you have no understanding of geography. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Chinese financial district. They do Chinese finance. They absolutely do. Playing fucking mahjong behind a laundromat. <laughs> wearing Betting live vests. roosters on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they all wear fishing vests <laughs> and wear aviator sunglasses and play mahjong. And then I think that's a gang. I think that's what a Chinese gang is. Totally. They have enforcers. Yeah. Small, um, small Chinese women. Is that who? I think so. I think. Where do they kill the people with those rat dumplings that <laughs> yeah. they sell? Those poisoned rat dumplings. Doug, those are delicious. There was a story. Did you see that last year? There was a, a there's a dumpling place called Prosperity, Prosperity Dumpling, right? and they sell dumplings for like a dollar. And uh, yeah, it's it's literally six dumplings for a dollar. Yeah. And there was a news story where they showed somebody got a picture of the kitchen, which is just the alley behind. <laughs> prosperity dumpling and they're making the dumplings like next to the trash and there was like a rat on the table (laughs) where they're making the dumplings and people are like i can't believe this and it's like yeah i can totally can what why why did you think the dumplings were so cheap yeah exactly it's meat it's like pieces of meat for a dollar for six it's unbelievable that shouldn't be allowed but I go. I mean, I still go. I'm, I was bummed when it closed down, even though I knew it was gross. My spot is uh, on uh, Moscow, in between Mott and Mulberry. There's a dumpling place. And I don't even know if it has a name. And the woman that works there <laughs> is just like a pirate. She's like I a Chinese it. pirate. Eye patch? Uh, no, nah, she's just got like a pirate vibe. <laughs> you know? No, she's more spiritually a pirate yeah, than anything. She's got like the, the you know, the, 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 you know, yeah, pirate vibes. Mm-hmm. A uh, pirate aura to her, but that place is good. That that one's one for five. Mmm, bitch. Um, I would love to fucking have some dumplings, but I, I, my whole stomach's been fucked up. I don't know what it is. I did a bunch of drugs, and I did a bunch of um, and I ate like a complete piece of shit. I've been trying to uh, slim down for our listeners at home. I'm a plus size gentleman, and uh, I went on a damn bender, my dude. And now I just fucking my whole stomach's fucked up. I've been eating rice. I ate a bunch of plums to try and shit because I couldn't shit, and uh, it just backfired. And I had a terrible stomach ache, and so now I would kill to be able to digest a fucking Chinese dumpling. But it's when, gone. The iron stomach's gone. When was the last time you shit? I've been shitting pretty nicely the last couple of days, but oh, it was so a couple what's days. The, what's the problem? There was a couple of days of couldn't shit, and then uh, now my stomach just hurts and I can't like digest anything. I went on a road trip one time. And for the road trip, what I brought to eat was, or what I bought, was like a bushel of apples <laughs> and an entire summer sausage. <laughs> and there was it was the day where like I wasn't driving, so I was like, I guess I'll eat my lunch, which was all ten apples and the summer <laughs> sausage. And like those are on opposite ends of the spectrum of Absolutely. like being able to shit versus like having to shit real bad. Absolutely. And that was. I think the most dramatic session in the bathroom I've ever had in my life. Was it just, yeah, because the apples are full of damn fiber, and then yeah. the sausage is just fatty as hell. Yeah. it's Where'd yeah. you shit? Where did you shit that out? Uh, I, we were staying with somebody's friends, so I woke up in the morning. I woke up at like, I had like an alarm clock in my small intestine. It just <laughs> went off at like six o'clock in the morning, and I went in the bathroom, I know people always like to exaggerate. They like to exaggerate how long they fucked and how long they shit. Do people Both exaggerate the, how long they fuck? Any, I feel like that's a oh that's yeah, a college dude. thing. Nah, I mean people still do. I barely fuck. Like, yeah, right. I fuck. I, it's like. What do you think you fuck for total? Nine minutes. Like that's penetration. Like, that's long. Yeah. <laughs> nine minutes is nine. Nine minutes is like. Yeah, I did. I did a good job. You can't bitch about you know anything shorter than nine minutes. But yeah, I mean at most like twenty five minutes. You mean the whole the whole total, or do you mean actual penetration twenty five? Yeah, actual penetration twenty five. Okay. Yeah, 
At most. At yeah, most. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's like when, a lot. That's like a banner day. Yeah. See, I've got a fucked up dick. Uh, my foreskin doesn't go all the way back. And uh, sometimes it hurts when I fuck. So sometimes I have to like... It doesn't go all the way back? It's supposed to go all the way back. It stops at the head. It looks like a turtleneck. So you should have been... You should have been circumcised. I should have been circumcised. And actually, a doctor tried to circumcise me, but I just have too much pride. <laughs> too much Wait, ethnic you, pride. What do you mean a doctor tried? He held me down and uh, <laughs> he took a fucking... Just a doctor on the subway? <laughs> yeah, when I say doctor, it was a guy I met. A guy, a guy, a guy off met. Scruff. Yeah, a salesman uh, for the Leatherman company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a guy, it was a guy selling fucking... What are those called? Cut, cut, what, what was Cutco's cut, competitor? Cut. Uh... I, don't know. I didn't one? know they had a competitor. Yeah, wasn't there another one? I don't know. No. Yeah, but anyway, he was the one who tried to circumcise me. Uh, no, some doctor was like, "You should just get circumcised. Your dick, your dick doesn't work." Paraphrasing, and uh, I just couldn't do it though, dude. I couldn't. I, I can't have a fucking. I, I don't want to change my hog up at this age. Yeah, I mean, I would absolutely not get circumcised if I was, like, almost 30 years old. Yeah, it'd be and weird. And I still had been circumcised. It'd be weird to just start having an a cut dick. Yeah. I feel like it gives me an optical illusion. It well, looks longer they, than it is. Well, that's why they do it to babies, because they're like, we need to have this done, like, before the child can remember anything. Right, right, because right. Because this is, like, such a traumatic... Yeah. They don't knock you out for it. No. There's just local anesthetic. And, and you can't fuck for or, or beat off for like a long time. How Sucks. long? I looked into it. I think it was like, because I, I was considering it at the time I had a girlfriend and she was going to Europe and I was like, you know, maybe I just time it to when she's away and I'm not going to fuck anyway. Uh, I think it's like at least 30 days though. That's so funny. You get the circumcision and then she's like. It's okay that you can't fuck or whatever. And she goes on her trip to Europe and then she just fucks all the uncircumcised <laughs> guys. <laughs> she's just she getting double teamed. And, yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, and it's her, it's her farewell to like, I can't deal with your <laughs> your your turtle necklace penis anymore. <laughs> it's not good enough for me. I got so used to that uncut dick. What? And I'm like, what? You know, because I, I didn't yeah. know she was fucking. She's just sucking, sucking turtleneck dick on a gondola for six months. <laughs> Wait, six while months. Someone, while someone paints her picture. <laughs> what do European guys do? Mm -hmm. have to, they fuck women with like songs and paintings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and especially if you're like a, if you live or work on like a fucking vacation spot, it's so easy to fuck women who are just like, I'm trying to make a terrible decision. Yeah. My cousin, he's fucking, how old is he? How old is he? Now? I'm, I'm 27. He's four years older than me. He's 31 years old. And since he was, uh, since he was like 18... Oh, damn. Did that get picked up? Yeah, no, that my was him just got hard. And that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Every time Ow, I'm my there, eye. I got my Harley Davidson. Yeah, we should probably close that Theater door. Theater of the mind. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, my cousin is a fucking, he's a 30-year-old man who still because of Greece, how fucked up the economy is, his only job is seasonal work. He's a bartender at a heavy metal themed bar in an island in Greece. So he takes a fucking ferry. And he goes was that from him Athens. riding by on the motorcycle? Yeah, was it was him. He heard yeah. me talking about him. Uh, he fucking... So he goes to this island, Eos, which is just like a a party island. It's like a fucking, you know... I guess meatpacking was a fucking island. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and he just... He's been fucking tourists since he was like... He can't speak English or any other <laughs> language. And he's just fucked so many Australian women. So many Australians go there. Just... On the beach, no condom, just fucking strangers he'll never see again. And they're just like, yeah, this is fun. This is what I want to do. That's so unfair. It's the context. That's the context women like will act like dudes. It's like, ah, I'm on vacation. That's why their economy is shit. It's that's true. why, that's why like, you know, America much <laughs> is the greatest country in the world. What's your theory? Too it's much just, undeserved pussy? Well, you can't just be like a guy. You can't be that guy. Yeah, yeah that guy yeah. here. There's no guy in like Wildwood, New Jersey. That's shit. well, I guess it probably there is probably actually. is it, but the but quality you know is much is, lower. Is it's that guy? He comes over here yeah. for the summer. <laughs> it's his ancestors. Do you ever go to Ocean City? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, everything is staffed by like Ukrainian women that are yeah. like either like your option is sex traffic or cotton candy stand. <laughs> 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 that's the entire. Economy. I don't think it's an option. <laughs> I think yeah, if you're yeah, ugly, yeah. your cotton candy stand. No, they're cuter ones. Oh, yeah? Cotton candy stand. Ooh. If you're ugly, sex traffic. Really? Uh, I think so. I never bought prostitutes in Ocean City. Neither have I. 
I mean, is that like? <laughs> no, I haven't. Is that is that like a place? But that, that eye roll is gonna get picked up on the mic for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna make sense. I had a great eye roll when he I said did a, He's I. doing. Uh, it's called physical comedy, folks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slide whistles. This is a look into the world of joke structure, professional comedians. That's right, bitch. How me and me and Nick will be teaching a uh, seminar. Yeah. Uh, how to be how about a, a seminar? <laughs> the Come Boys seminar, dude. Boom! Boom! We high five. Boom! Uh, anyway, yeah, the Come Boys seminar. <laughs> Sign up for it. It's seven hundred dollars, and uh, we guarantee you'll be headlining by the end of it. Four hundred twenty dollars in the sixty-nine. <laughs> there he is. Damn. There you he ever, is. Did you ever smoke out of a fucking volcano? Hell yes. Yeah. Those so are great. there was a guy I used to hang out with, and he would buy weed off this dude who was like, it was funny. He he was like a like a Spencer's Gifts version of Walter White because <laughs> he like worked at like a bio. He was like a biochemical engineer, so uh-huh. he made good money. But then he also like sold all this fucking weed and had this like big cash flow. And he had. Um, I bet he never fucked any underage. W- yeah, girls. he's never had sex. Dude. <laughs> that was his. That's his secret. <laughs> is he never once had sex? Um, but uh, yeah, his apartment. He had like an extra room that he just turned into an aquarium. Whoa. Yeah, it was like a black light, and then uh, like you know just a bunch of fucking fish, which was like gay <laughs> until you were high. Right. And then, and you then go it was... in there and it's like I take the, all that stuff I said about your apartment being gay back, man. Oh, He's imagine like, being I've never stoned. met you before. Why are you criticizing my aquarium? <laughs> but yeah, he had a volcano and uh I remember like looking up the price, you know, cuz like I had never seen one before, or whatever. Right. He's like, "Yeah, this is the volcano. This is like the best vaporizer, or whatever." Right. And I remember looking him up, and there was a time when I'm pretty sure it was a volcano. Maybe it was another vaporizer. I'm just con- confusing the two, but it was mm-hmm. four hundred and twenty. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a volcano? Volcanoes we used to be more. I don't know. Well, there was Check. one. There was one that oh, was that was that cost four hundred and twenty dollars. Beautiful. And it's like that. With other shit, like I'm buying the PlayStation, and I know it's not PlayStation dollars, right? right? right you know, right. I don't know how much it fucking costs to make, so I assume like, yeah, probably there, it should cost four hundred dollars, right? Right. But right. if you're able to price it at four hundred twenty dollars, just because it's like cool, then I feel like I'm being ripped off, right? Right. 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 How do what? I know it couldn't just be three hundred and eighty dollars? <laughs> what if it literally cost four twenty, and they were like, ah, oh, fuck, no one's gonna believe it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and the boss is just like, look. I want it as low as possible while we still make a profit. And they're like, boss, it's 420. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. It's just, it's not a pothead in this scenario. It's some old guy. He's yeah. the boss of Volcano. Let me see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Volcanoes cost like 600 bucks. Yeah. Well, I guess that's inflation. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for looking it up and ruining my story. <laughs> Now everyone who listens to this is going to think I'm a fucking idiot. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I looked that up. I fact-checked Nick. And not only did I ruin his story, but I was also not really listening to him while he was telling it, so it really ruined any momentum. Uh, this is a no-fact-checking podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I fucked You're up. You're never allowed to fact-check me on anything. <laughs> You'll be banned <laughs> from the show. Fuck, man. No. Please. You're, you're fucking banned. Please, dude. How about a shout out to Tim Heckle? Tim Heckle, the best. Tim Tr- Heckle, Trim Heckle. Tr- <laughs> <laughs> Tim Heckle, the greatest open micer of all time. The greatest open mic host I've ever seen in my life. Ever, dude. He ran the sidebar open mic in Baltimore. That's where me and Nick first uh, fell in love and started making out. Yeah. And Nick was a raging alcoholic. What? <laughs> I don't remember. He that. would get blacked out, and I would suck him off while he slept. What? And. But we would sidebar open mic. It's still running, actually. Pretty pretty good mic in Baltimore. But Tim Heckle was this dude who moved back to Baltimore, like, I don't know, to, like, have a life or something. He wasn't, like, doing anything in s- comedy up here. And he moved back to Baltimore, like, to figure shit out, I don't know, with his wife and shit. They're, now they have, like, a nice, good life. Yeah, nobody somewhere. gives a shit about Tim Heckle. We're going too far into the Tim Heckle Okay, story. well, punch, go ahead there, buddy, you know? he was He was a great guy. He was a good guy, and he used to bully uh, another comedian, Tim Unkenholtz. Timmy uh, fills the yeah, holes. Yeah, Tim Unkenholtz. <laughs> so there was two Tims. Uncle Timmy. <laughs> Uncle Timmy. And Trim Hackle. Trim Hackle. Anyway, yeah, look them up. I guess there's no real point to this story, except that he bullied uh, Tim Unkenholtz mercilessly, and he was a great guy. Yeah. Um, so you're a pot guy. What's your vaporizer of choice? I would love, I mean, I love the volcano. Did um, you see, hold on. Did you see that the FDA it just like made it so that all the e-cigs, all the vape rigs have to go through the same 
like screening process is new tobacco products. Really? Yeah. So like 97% of like the vape rigs on the market are going to disappear. Holy shit. That's yeah. hilarious. Uh, so no more like fucking, you know, calculator thi- looking things that are fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People All those ones that let you like change the teachers, <laughs> you change the channel on the TV <laughs> while the teacher is trying to. Did you know anybody had one of those? No. Like remote? Something like, I remember like when we would watch something in class. Like one or one or two times, somebody had like a watch that was also like a universal TV. Oh, that's hilarious! Just to fuck with the teacher. And that's a uh, good. That's a good. That's a good bit. That's hilarious. Dude. Yeah, fucking with teachers is the best. Laser pointers. Hell yes. Yeah, I'm on board. I'm for them. Yeah. I used to love laser pointers as a fucking little kid. I used to have a laser pointer with like attachments and shit. You can make it look like li- naked ladies. Yeah, I actually had an idea for a product, and don't steal it. No I'm, one is I'm allowed to steal to. my idea. Go ahead. This is a trademarked, it's copyright trademark. Mm-hmm. But you get a la- it's a laser pointer, and it comes in a blister pack, and it comes with a tip. This is the Batman logo, right? Um, I'm listening. Officially licensed. <laughs> okay. So 100% we're so good. totally unauthorized Batman <laughs> logo. But then it also comes with, okay, a little Batman costume for your cat. <laughs> that is actually awesome. How good of an idea is that? That dude? is really good. So you can shine the bat signal at the wall, and then the cat chases the bat signal. Damn. The you know how many fucking idiots would buy that? That's actually incredible. Yeah. But Damn, I can't. You'll I can't never make the be prototype. able to do it. Yeah, because yeah. I waste all my money on podcasting equipment. That's right. Well, this is this will pay for itself. Soon. Yeah, this one's uh, there's much less shit talk on this one. I'm happy with the way this one's going. Yeah. Um, it times uh, going by pretty quickly. So, do you want to take a break and then sure. uh, we'll take a two minute break and we'll come back and we'll uh, let's hear a word from our sponsors. Yeah, a word from our sponsor, beinggay.com. Beinggay.com. It's actually my own website. <laughs> Uh, doing a little cross promotion with uh, with my website. Make sure to subscribe to Nick's mailing list at beinggay.com. Yeah, chatterbait.com slash, slash power bottom, the power <laughs> bottom comic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, tip, fuck tip yeah. me, guys. I need those tokens. If you want to see, see me ass come, you got to send those tokens. In, I do love watching those. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're taking a break. We'll be back. Goodbye. I'm Lieutenant Williams a police officer attached to the juvenile division. I'm on my way to Monroe Junior High School to talk to a group of young people. Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon and he didn't feel like walking home so he decided to thumb a ride. He'd done it a hundred times before and he didn't think anything was unusual when the driver struck up a friendly conversation. In fact, he seemed like a real nice guy. He asked Jimmy if he played baseball in the park often. Jimmy told him they practiced three times a week and played a rival group on Friday afternoon. The stranger was a good listener, too, and it only seemed minutes before they pulled up in front of Jimmy's house. When Jimmy got out, the stranger gave him a friendly pat. Jimmy hadn't enjoyed himself so much in a long time. Then during lunch, Ralph showed him some pornographic pictures. Jimmy knew he shouldn't be interested, but, well, he was curious. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick. A sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, a person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. Jimmy hadn't enjoyed himself so much in a long time. The decision is always yours, and your whole future may depend on making the right one. So no matter where you meet a stranger, Be careful if they are too friendly, if they try to win your confidence too quickly, and if they become overly personal. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may appear normal, and it may be too late when you discover he is mentally ill. So keep with your group, and don't go off alone with strangers unless you have the permission of your parent or teacher. back ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. you know how much money tim allen made off that noise uh, so much i mean also this you know the, well there's sitcom that he wrote too but home improvement was like home improvement was the most successful 
sitcom of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking listening to you. I'm like, oh, really? Damn. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm sure he made. He made plenty of. He bank. probably made like yeah, seventy million dollars or. Damn. A season. A season. <laughs> well, every season is seventy episodes. A million dollars <laughs> an episode. <laughs> that show used to air every single day <laughs> of the season. Oh hell yeah! I love I that shit. I don't think so, Tim. Pamela Anderson was on that shit, wasn't she? Yeah, like she a played young the wife. Pam she played the wife, Jill. <laughs> is Pam Anderson? My favorite one was the scene on the boat where um, he, uh, Tim Allen fucks her, but he's yeah, but he's t- and he drives the boat with his dick. <laughs> that's right. And remember, then, that's the only thing I remember from that Pam Anderson sex tape is yeah, it's not is, very memorable. Is, the one. Yeah, it's Tommy Lee pressing the buttons on the boat with his dick. Doesn't he like press the the honking? Yeah, he <laughs> the like horn honks the horn and with it's his like. Cock. You know, those are that's what I would do if I had a huge dick for like a day. <laughs> right, you know? right, 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 right. Not like if, you've had that giant dick yeah, your entire if life. You, if it was like a big situation where you <laughs> yeah, wish yeah, to yeah. have a big dick, yeah, your yeah. first <laughs> right, your right. first day, you're snocking shit over. Yeah, you're fucking right. knocking lightning bugs off the kitchen yeah. counter with it. Fucking Playing pogs. fucking wiffle ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> your hard yeah, dick. Slamming pogs with your dick. <laughs> You guys remember Pogs? Yo. Shout out to the 90s, huh? How about that? Dude, what a decade. Tell me about it. Battletoads. What a time to be alive. Battletoad, Double Dragon. Same game, basically, right? Uh, Yeah, they were bundled together. I don't know. I never played fucking Battletoads. I didn't have like a Super Nintendo no? or a Genesis. What'd you have? I didn't have anything. I went over to my friend's house, and he had it. And like he would play by himself, and then his mom would like yell downstairs. She's like, Adam! Are you letting Nick play? <laughs> it was like South African. I can't do the voice. That's why she became a British nanny. But she, uh, wait, he would like, let you like say yes. <laughs> well, there would always be one player games. Oh, I and see. It's like see. I'm not gonna fucking make. I mean, it was fine watching. I just liked yeah having you know, a friend. You fucking yeah, I just loser. liked having a friend. <laughs> no one else bitch. would hang out with me. Damn, um, Mullen's childhood was sad. Yeah. Bitch, shut up, man. <laughs> I had plenty of friends. Fucking. My mom was my friend. We would <laughs> hang out. You know, she would yell at me for looking at her sewing machine. <laughs> yell at you for looking at it, huh? Dude, how funny is... Oh, initially, we were going to talk about Tom Myers. Oh, yes. The um, king. Tom Myers is uh, the greatest comedian of all time. Ab- my favorite stand-up comedian. Um, if you, if you want to know more about Tom Myers, go to YouTube and type in Ed Schrader Show... <laughs> And that's S H R A D E R, Tom Myers, and Tom was a guest on Ed's like a surreal talk show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny. So the whole the setup is is it's supposed to be like an it's supposed to have this like weird. It's a troll talk show. It's basically. A, yeah, it's a troll. It's like a hipster ironic talk show. Right. So to the extent that even the announcer for the show is some guy that's like, and your next girl, like he's doing a dumb voice, like everything's supposed to be bad. And they got the best comedian you could for an ironic talk show. Absolutely. Which is Tom Myers, who the king uh, looks baby. like Steve Buscemi, dresses like Bill Hicks. You know what's funny about Tom Myers is Tom Myers had that hairline and had the solution to that hairline, which is that weird comb over thing that he does <laughs> at like age 21. When I met him, yeah. I was like 16. He was uh, 16 or 17. And I'm like, oh, this guy's in his like late 30s. Absolutely, you. He he looks 15 years older than he is. Yeah, and he was like 21. But uh, the, I got on the Tom Myers tangent because you remember at his album recording, he did yes. that that joke about like he just slid it in there that his parents already have a grave for him. <laughs> yeah, they bought <laughs> they bought a grave they for him, a, a grave, grave plot for their son next to theirs. So because he lives with his parents, <laughs> yeah. he lives with his parents. Calls little league baseball and works at Seven <laughs> Eleven. He was the chairman of the Harford County Young Democrats. Until he literally aged out of it. (laughs) (laughs) They were like, you're too fucking old. (laughs) Yeah. So then he like, oh, man, he is so Did he come back from, he retired from comedy for No, did he? I don't think so. Yeah. You should check it out, guys. Seriously, Tom Myers. We were present, both both Nick and myself were present for the recording of, I believe it was something like Pitchforks and he has some really strong imagery. Another, yeah. He had an album called uh, "Words of Mass Destruction." Words of Mass Destruction, <laughs> dude. Scathing criticism of the Iraq War and uh, and pot, pot as in marijuana, uh, which he calls pot. Bong hit transplant. Bong hit transplant. <laughs> that's that's. Punchlines. By the way, bong hit transplant is the is the punchline to a joke. 
Go find it. You'll really enjoy it when you figure it out. It will make that, a lot of sense. <laughs> it really should be the punchline to every joke. Yeah, would you get a bong hit transplant? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is even a bong hit transplant? It's like he's he's like pretending like he knows what weed is, but also pretending like he knows what what like medicine yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Tom's a great guy though. Good guy. Uh, yeah, I do like him personally. Yeah, Tom, I mean, I, I feel like it's not bullying because Tom is immune to bullying. <laughs> yeah. He's so delusional that he can't, like, he can't even process. Do you remember when Joe Robinson used to go on the radio and make fun of Tom on the yeah, radio? Yeah, which that is bullshit. Yeah, well, Joe's an asshole. Yeah, exactly. Joe got Joe got into it with uh, Tom Arnold a couple weeks Hilarious. ago. Hilarious, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, both of those guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine that green room. Yeah. Well, he wasn't allowed in the green room. That's right. how it started. Yeah. Tom Which Arnold is- closes the green room door and I wasn't allowed in there. <laughs> yeah, he's Tom Arnold, Joe. Yeah, just you're fucking working at a comedy club. Of course, some people are going to be weird. Yeah. Just fucking take it. Yeah. Although Eddie Griffin did warn me that uh, Obama was going to uh, put, I think, make us all zombies or there was going to be a chip or something like that. Uh, crazy, though. That was three years ago and he said it was going to be the next year and it still hasn't happened. But you know how the government is. Well, I know how Matty Griffith is. He's always right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Every baby. time. Name one thing he's predicted that he's been wrong about. You're right. You can. Read your book. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a funny story. Tell it. Tell it for He everyone. was, uh, he was, uh, this was like years ago. Uh, I was opening Freddie Griffin and um, he started, he would go really long. He would do like three hours. He would literally do on the late shows three hours when he's supposed to do an hour. So we, people were there. It was like, you're delirious. And he's closing his set. And he, in the mid, right before the set, it was, fuck, what was the exact? He starts quoting scripture. And he just starts saying, like, from the Bible. And he just starts saying, like, he quotes something. And then his interpretation of it is that, like, fuck, what? Is, I'm, I'm, blow, I'm butchering this. It was like... Uh, Something like zombies are gonna come back, or what? Do you remember what the fucking what what it was? No, that, this is your story. I didn't think you would fuck it up. I fucked that. it up horribly. I bungled it big time. All right, let me take let me let me take it again. All right. <clears throat> oh no, I have to edit that out. <laughs> You're assuming this is like a professional operation where I've got like, I don't, tape delay. <laughs> I don't remember. I have, I have some some intern that's. <laughs> How does it? Every podcast has like an intern that got too many piercings. I don't know, but we should get one. Yeah. So it's, I want that. I want it just so we have the guy like, come on, Mike. Yeah, yeah. That guy yeah. that doesn't get a microphone. That we should yell at so We should pretend someone's yeah. here. Richie, you fucking idiot. That's good. Richie's a good one. Richie's a good. <laughs> Richie's thirty-two years old. Looks like he's seventeen. <laughs> he's still. He's on. He looks like he's always on his way to Warp Tour. <laughs> That's every podcast intern. That is, is a warp true. Because they're all they're all audio people. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. They're trying to be Skrillex. Exactly. And they wound up producing podcasts. Um, but Eddie Griffin is saying like, uh, so <laughs> Eddie Griffin is taking forever and he starts he starts quoting scripture and then he says that like, oh, it was because because we allowed gay marriage or something that we were going to start uh, that. Um, uh, and he quotes some scripture that says because of gay marriage, people were going to be zombies. <laughs> That it was like the undead shall come back from the dead in the time of sins and his interpretation and just some old black this is insane. You know what I mean? Just insane shit. And some old black woman in the crowd starts clapping and going, Read your book <laughs> <laughs> Like like it's fucking like that is true. Like what he said was in the Bible. Like I don't even think what he was talking about was even remotely in there. <laughs> And she was just like, read your book. Read and it's, your book. At this, it's like Saturday at 2 a.m. It read was fucking, book. It was one of the most hilarious. And I'm sitting there just waiting to fucking close the show. He said some other great stuff. It's been so long I forgot it, but uh, really good stuff about a chip. And Who's the worst comic you've worked with? Like worst personally or worst like? Like who's the shittiest comic you've worked with? You don't have to name names. You can just uh, describe their act and you know what they look like and what credits they might have. <laughs> and then we can put it together. I don't know. I mean, I've... I guess if you... I mean, I just... I, I used to open for a lot of... I mean, when you're starting out, you just open for a lot of shitty local headliners. But yeah. in terms of like na- like national headliners, I've gotten some good... 
I've had some fun. I mean, there's some people who just like do their same act from like fucking. That was going to be my answer that everyone I worked with has been great. And <laughs> I appreciate the opportunities. <laughs> no, I, 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 everyone, I worked with one guy who just kept, he was doing his same hour from like, you know, eight years ago. Yeah. And he was just like. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. Huh? That's fine. You don't need to write new stuff. If it's gold. Yeah, as if it's gold, if it's if gold, it, stories about... If it plays, about, it stays, folks. That's comedy rule number three. And Which is whatever. Like, honestly, whatever. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But he was, like, shitting on me for doing the same feature set every time. What the fuck? I swear to God. He was like, oh, same stuff. I would come off stage, he'd be like, oh, nice, same same act, huh? And I was like, I've heard this. I remember this act from when I was in fucking middle school, and you're going to shit on me? I think it was probably just, like, an insecure... Yeah. Piece of shit. I, I remember one time, one of those guys that Irwin booked for, uh, remember EJ's? Hell yes, baby. EJ's, EJ's Landing. Landing. Dude, it's EJ's First Landing. First open mic I ever did was at EJ's Landing, a no seafood shit. restaurant in College I Park. Run, I used to run the mic across the street at College Park mm -hmm. beforehand, and then we w I would go with uh, Jordan Owens. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he could do karaoke at EJ's Landing. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so EJ's Landing is like a it's like a nautical themed bar mm -hmm. in the now it's the Varsity Lounge by the way. Oh, is it's it gone? Unfortunately. Okay. Well, it used to be in like a nautical themed bar in um, in the lobby of what at the time was the Best Western, and then they lost their franchise, and then it was a Clarion. I think it's a Clarion still. No, really? they lost a Clarion, and then they just had like a tarp over the logo that was like the College Park Hotel or something like that. <laughs> they just didn't have like, uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. uh, the laptop's dying. But yeah, uh, so Irwin took that room and started booking people there, like bringing in headliners, and he brought in this fucking hypnotist from, like, oh, Cleveland. Yes. Who drove there in his, like, 92 Civic, you know, all the way from Cleveland <laughs> to headline <laughs> the karaoke bar. And I mean, no one would ever be at those shows, too. Uh, no one. No Irwin one charged, like, $10 a head. Yeah, yeah. It was... So, the audience is me, Jordan, and then, like, um, this guy and his fucking fiance or something. So, there's mm -hmm. four of us there. And the hypnotist goes on stage and he's like, I'm the amazing fucking dickhead or whatever right. his name is. And uh, he's like, I need four volunteers from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Can I get four volunteers? So, you know, Irwin's like looking around. He's like, come on, everybody. <laughs> Why get up on the stage, everybody? Irwin, for everyone who doesn't know, is a, uh, is a, a morbidly <laughs> obese. He looks like he's like a he, he always he likes to compare himself to Ron Jeremy. He's like, I look like Ron Jeremy, which like once you take away the dick, that's an insult. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to look Ron like Jeremy him. looks terrible, but yeah, he looks yeah. like a fatter Ron Jeremy. Yeah. You look. Yeah. You look a fatter fucking Super Mario Ron Jeremy looking dude. Right. And so he's like, somebody get on the stage. And so we <laughs> <laughs> which the stage, by the way, there's no stage. Yeah, it's no. the front of the karaoke yeah, yeah, bar. Yeah. They just turn some of the chairs around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we're sitting there and it's like the, he's like a hypnotist and he's going through all these like motions. You know, he's like, now I want you to breathe in, breathe out, close your eyes. And we're all sitting there and he's got like some stupid music playing and he's giving you commands. But they're like preparation commands They're like, you know, it's almost like you're sitting in like a yoga studio. Where he's like, lean back, now lean forward or whatever. And he goes on. He does. So you're thing. doing it, right? Is everyone, is yeah, everyone you're going doing up? it. You're like, conscious. yeah, we're all on stage. OK, yeah, so there's Jordan. no one in the audience right now. No. Uh, halfway through this, like two like black dudes came in and sat down and, uh, yeah. So we're on stage. He's like doing all this, like, you know, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then eventually he goes like in sleep and he like pushes your head down. And then that's when you realize like, Oh, I'm supposed to be hypnotized now and I'm not. <laughs> and like, you know, he's like, now you, uh, cluck like a chicken or whatever but you've already been listening to him tell you to do things and then you realize like i'm supposed to be hypnotized and you're like cock-a-doodle do <laughs> you know like, you, know, like, you don't want to like ruin this guy's fucking do you think anyone was hypnotized the girl was really and i had to like reach down her shirt at one point he like made me sexually assault her Jeez. as part of the hypnotism which i was fine with yeah 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 
It's, it's not, part of the act. It's not illegal if it's, you know. If under hypnosis. Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was your Honor. I was under hypnosis <laughs> when I sucked <laughs> off that seven-year-old kid. <laughs> the, the hypnotist. <laughs> <seven-year-old> <laughs> um, you're just wearing a fucking, uh, you just wrap your head in like a swami's hat yeah. or whatever the fuck. Well, it goes to show you that the only way to be hypnotized is if you're asking for it. You That's know? right. You got to be somebody that Weak wants minded. it Weak-minded. Yeah, a weak-minded imbecile. <laughs> That's right. Um, so do you want to plug stuff? Yeah, I'd love to plug. Guys, I uh, have the number m- number one erotic men's Instagram account, uh, plus-size men's Instagram account. It's at Stavi Baby on Instagram. Uh, please, S-T-A-V-V-Y Baby, please follow it. Um, I'm fucking naked in every picture, and I'm really trying to be... I'm really trying to go viral as hell, so... Please share and like and subscribe. Uh, fucked up that you're allowed to be a nude man on Instagram, but you're not allowed to see a woman's breasts or a pussy. I agree. The bravest thing you can do as a woman is to put pictures of your vagina on Instagram. <laughs> but you just keep the, doing it until they ban you. Make a new account, post your, your titties, your pussy. Or just DM us That's what them. Harriet Tubman would have done. Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Susan yeah. B. Anthony. That's right. They all would have been nude on Instagram. Aunt Jemima. Aunt <laughs> <laughs> Man, have you seen the original Aunt Jemima? No. Oh, my God. The computer just died, so I can't look it up, but racist. Dude. I believe it. Yeah. Just big red lips, probably. Oh, oh, she wasn't a cartoon. It was oh. an actual human being. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like a just total, like, mammy character. Totally, yeah. Well, imagine, dude, what's acceptable now? Imagine what people yeah. thought was okay in the 50s. You know what's <laughs> fucking hilarious? And don't fact check me on this because I can't yeah, remember yeah, the details yeah, yeah. either. But it's something pretty bad where like uh, there was the... Sorry. the uh, <laughs> Sorry if anyone heard me clicking my pen. <laughs> uh, Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Uh, nice, dude. I farted, but it probably didn't get picked yeah. up. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> we'll figure out all this in post. <laughs> we'll add the fart noises in post. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> go no, ahead. Uncle Ben's dude. Uncle oh, Ben's rice. Yeah. So Uncle Ben was like supposed to be like a slave. That was like the Jesus story Christ. behind Uncle Ben, who like I don't know escaped to San Francisco to make pasta or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe Uncle I'm, like, Ben's rice, the San Francisco tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben's rice. He used to be a slave. Ding ding. In the trolley. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, like this, yeah. The story was he was like a slave. And then they finally, like, changed the story, but in, like, 2009. Jesus they, Christ. They, like, waited a very long time. There was just some old man that, like, ran Uncle Ben's. or like, he's a slave. People <laughs> won't eat the rice unless they know he's a slave. That's a part of this brand. It's the story. It would be so disrespectful to instant rice. To history. To history. If we change the slave backstory <laughs> of Uncle Ben's. So there used to be a place in Philly. Called uh, Chinks Steaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I remember one of the first time I saw it, I was like, that's got to be somebody just fucked up. You know, well, it was just a guy. It was just like some Italian guy who had like small eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's literally and I'm not yeah. even being funny. That's the story. He looked sleepy. That's what the description was on the website. And then they finally changed the name to like Joe's or something in like 2012. Yeah, it was like a big fight. Yeah. Which goes to show you, you can be a little more racist towards Asians and no one really... Yeah. Well, how funny is it that they changed chink steaks before the Redskins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that they got the chink, they got the chink Joe <laughs> before they got the Dan Snyder. Yeah, I wonder how long that's going to keep going. Forever. As long, I mean, as long as Dan Snyder's the owner, he's not going to change the name. That's crazy. Is it, though? Yeah, I mean, he made it clear he's not changing the name. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, I got no take on this, but I just think it's fucked up. I don't have any kind of anything funny, but uh, I, well, is that one is Braves offense? Does anyone give a shit about the Braves? Braves is, I guess, okay. I don't know. Because well, they don't, ha- they don't have a. Brave. It's also there's no well, is, there's, there's, there's no, no racist merit. Yeah, there's yeah. no image. There's no it's just racist. The a. Mer- yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's no racist logo. Like the Cleveland Indians, it's like that one's bad. That one is fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Chief Wahoo. First of all, the <laughs> name sounds like a fucking <laughs> slur. Yeah, right. Chief Wahoo. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah. It's not even the sound they make. <laughs> What's up with, uh, and you won't like this, but like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what's up with you know like do what do i guess white people do have like noises they make was like, like what? the scottish the scottish had the rebel yell is that like the rebel they no one knows what it sounds like but well, like the scott rebel yell isn't that some fucking con- you know yeah the confederates Confederate but i thought shit. it was like scottish confederates the oh, south really? was like mostly scottish wasn't it i don't fucking know it's all like fucking just tra- scottish trash yeah who were just mad that like if slavery stopped there would be they then like they'd be equal with black people and <laughs> they're like there was no one lower than them and there's probably like so much white trash that was just like Oh no, we can't free slaves. Well, I'm white yeah, white slaves. trash didn't exist until after slavery ended, and then they were like, "We need to find a way to pit these people against each other." Right, right, right. And then we're gonna start calling poor whites white trash, and then they're like, "What? F- no, I gotta be better somehow." Yeah, I'm gonna do it with bumper stickers. Don't don't fact check us, folks, baby. <laughs> <That's> yeah, <laughs> please do not fact check any of this. This show. is a no fact check podcast. That's you can't actually if you want to like write jokes you can't actually know the details of anything. Fuck no. Because you know what's funny? I for like three years, occasionally I would be doing feature sets, and I used to do this bit about Homeward Bound, the movie mm-hmm. Homeward Bound, and the bit was like everybody loved those movies, but like the premise is what that these people move and they forget their pets. Why would you forever forget your pet? You know, it was like one right, of those, right, right. It was a shitty bit, but right. Um, like it would do well, and it took like years before someone's like. You know that's not the plot of Homer Brown. Right? <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean?" They're like, "They just go on vacation, and the pets think they were left behind." Right, right, right. And I was like, "Whatever, I'm gonna keep doing that." <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, that's how little I give a shit about my craft. Ah, who cares? You're fine. Yeah. Well, you're just taking down Homeward Bound. It's not like it's fucking your opus. Yeah, I used to have a uh, uh, Angels in the Outfield joke. Oh yeah, that's a good joke. Yeah, but uh, I'm like terrified that I got the details of that movie wrong. Nah, I don't think I did. I think, I think I that joke r- is good. Yeah, I, I think, think I got it right. right. That th- so I'll, uh, the story is this kid's. Uh, he's just got. A, he's a son of like a dad, and there's no mom. And the dad at like age 12 is like, I'm putting you in foster care. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. He puts this on in foster care so he can ride his motorcycle. <laughs> that's the reason he wants to go up north to ride his motorcycle. <laughs> and the son is like, Dad, are we ever going to be? Which, by the way, I don't think you can put your 12 year old. You have to be like, I don't know how I'm going to handle this. All right, yeah. we'll take him. He's got his own keys to the apartment, <laughs> yeah. but I don't I don't know how to raise a baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he says to his dad. Uh, now I'm j- I don't want to just do the bit. I should just, we should wrap it here. I think this is like, that's okay yeah, do for the bit. our first episode. We can do the bit. Mm. No, this is not going to be a bit doing <laughs> show. <dude. laughs> you're right, you're right. This is going to be uh, non-fact just, checking. Just, just two buds getting fucking... Sucked off. We've been getting sucked yeah. off this whole time, by the way. That's the other part by of the podcast. By each other. <laughs> yeah. That's why the acoustics are so good. <laughs> Our dicks are the microphones. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is, we'll be doing one of these every single day. Yep. Until, Twice a day. Uh, yeah, until one of them sounds good enough to actually put on one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just, so these are in a vault somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we never yeah, even fucking. My, my private collection. <laughs> Uh, you're you're print you're the prince of podcasting. Yeah. Uh <laughs> prince of prince of podcasts. Um but that should do it. That's like 40, yeah, forty five minutes. Um uh, nobody's gonna listen. Thank you for checking into Come Town. Check yeah, Come Town every week. Um for at least probably two three weeks. Three or four two weeks. Two or three weeks <laughs> yeah. before I have to sell the podcast equipment. <laughs> I have to make rent to pay the Chinese people <laughs> I owe money to. Uh all right, thanks folks. Take her easy. Come Town, episode two. Woo-hoo. Uh, Ooh. Preemptive woos. Arriba. You're fucking up the Whoa. intro. <laughs> this is the second episode uh, of uh, the most uh, highly demanded podcast in the history of podcasting. That's right, bitch. Um, first episode, we had 85 million downloads. <laughs> Can you believe that, guys? Those are Vivo. Those are Justin Bieber Vivo numbers. Yeah. We had 85 million downloads, 30 million subscribers. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. It's been translated into four languages. (laughs) Japanese, (laughs) German, North Korean, South Korean. How do you translate a podcast? Is it like uh, like you hear the English faintly and then you hear like a dominant Japanese voiceover? (laughs) 
<laughs> like they do on NPR when exactly. they're like interviewing. <laughs> they have like a Russian guy, and then it's always yeah. someone with a British accent. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. a British person. No matter what s- what it is, yeah. Yeah, the English know how to speak every language. Yeah. Fucking smarter than you us, know what's dude? weird. Uh, I was thinking about this. Um, the, so the British don't use bidets, right? They use toilet mm-hmm. paper, mm. which we don't. You know, we use toilet paper, but we're separated by like a continent. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's okay that we use toilet paper, which is like the le- like it's least it's the least hygienic method of yes, wiping your true. ass. I mean, actually, what are the other two me- just the bidet, bidet or hand. Hand, yeah, hand. Come on. Well, that's what Muslims do. It's oh. actually part of the religion. They have to. I'm serious. Shut up. It's true. It's true. It's that sounds. Yeah, it's, it's part of it's their religion. True. It's part of their religion. So you're telling me every Muslim I've meet, like, fingers well, if his they're asshole? observing that part, it's like they you know, don't you do keep it kosher. to finger the asshole. They do it. Yeah, but if I would imagine some fingering is. Ha- I mean, how else would you clean it? There's up? a hadith in the Quran that a says. Hadith. Yeah. Yeah. It's a custom. Come on, dude. Don't you know about hadiths? <laughs> no, I don't know about fucking hadiths. Why do, you, why do you know about it's them? It's the Ten Hadith Commandments, man. Number two. Isn't that a biggie song? Never use never use your fucking anything but your hand. <laughs> do you know the guy that wrote the Quran was also the guy that wrote Hamilton? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, Brandon's friends with him. Hamil- the, Hamilton? The, the, with the guy that wrote the Quran. You know what I was doing Lin last Manuel. night that I thought yeah. that I think was funny, but I was all alone, so it might not be funny, but I was going like this. I was going... Hamilton, the music of real hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> real hip hop. Bro, 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 blaka, blaka, blaka. Hamilton, uh, the music of real hip hop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Wouldn't it be fun to if to go see Hamilton the way we watched the Yankees game? This that weekend? would be great. Speaking of which, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. me, me and Stav are back, and we're Woo-hoo! joined. Uh, we're yeah. joined by uh, another official comboy. Another mm-hmm. official. Uh, OG Cumboy. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, it's uh, 743 followers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, You're about to get the bump, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Uh, Adam Friedland, just my name, one word. Mine's Stav Comedy, by the way, guys. Was there, an, was there already that. a Stav Halkius? I don't like to go Stav Halkius. I don't why? know why. You, you like branding? You like everybody? Did you hang out with Black Comedians when you started? Did I hang out with Black Comedians when yeah. I started? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's so that probably makes why. sense. Yeah, comedian Stav. Comedian. Oh comedian yeah, yeah. Stav. First name Stav, <laughs> oh, last right, right. name comedian. Yeah. Comedian Duh is my middle name. Comedian, <laughs> comedian Duh. Before Mark Maron Stavers. blocked me, I told him that uh, you remember Dark Mark. Yeah. I told I tweeted at Maron and I said, "There's a guy <laughs> going by uh, Dark Mark Maron." <laughs> I said, "Dark Maron." Going on stage, doing all this. There's a black guy who goes by Dark Mirror and he's stealing all your stuff, dude. And you're on stage. Dude, the idea of he's Dark like, Mark. Fuck you, troll. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, troll. <laughs> Fuck, asshole. <laughs> asshole, troll. Pow. You, you and uh, Marin, when Gandolfini died, was one of the funniest fucking things. That's <laughs> yeah. troll. I wish you could get blocked by Mark Marin multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a way to. Twitter should. We should, yeah. we should. We should uh, petition Twitter to give you an option that. Mark Marin is it's the only it only affects Mark's account, but he's only allowed to block people for thirty six hours. <laughs> and after that the ban expires and you're allowed to fuck with Mark again. It comes right back around. Him and Kilstein. That's actually my biggest triumph. Anyone that follows me automatically blocked by Jamie Kilstein. Really? Yeah. Just anyone? Anyone. He has it set up? Yeah, he has it set up that That's way. That's awesome. How'd you get how'd you swing that? I don't know. I guess they have like programs that that you can use. But so. what did you do to get Kilstein to block you? Oh, he was uh, he was having like a conversation with somebody. I think it was Lindy West. But oh, I found a conversation nice. he was having where uh, that's a nice back and forth. <laughs> nice. Where he was like, um, like nine, ten replies deep in a conversation with her, so that it was like kind of convoluted. But it was a friendly conversation, and I just quoted one of his tweets, or I like replied to one of his, like I dot added one of the tweets in this long thread. Yeah, and I was like, wow, wouldn't expect rape jokes from Jamie Kilstein. <laughs> So, like, to even check that I was lying, you would have to read through this conversation. <laughs> and, like, Jamie saw that and thought maybe I was somebody that, like, you know, took it out of context or, like, just didn't understand. I mean, there was no rape joke. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like a rape joke. But he was like, what, what are you talking about? There's no rape joke. What are you? you know, <laughs> no, that's, please. That's his biggest fear. Right. Yes. 
he's more afraid of doing a rape joke than being raped. Of being, yeah, of being problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie <Right>. Kilstein, <laughs> <laughs> real hip hop. Blaka, blaka, blaka. Real hip hop. <laughs> Yo, this is a message for the bumba clots out at the NRA. If you're yeah. an NRA bumba clot. <laughs> I got I got a kale sandwich for you, pal. A knuckle kale sandwich. My a gluten free knuckle sandwich. That's that's not funny, dude. My dad had a bumba clot. Um, oh no, <laughs> was it benign? He needed it removed. He needed his bumba clot. His bumba clot removed because it was clogging up his bumba. I actually had I had. Remember when I thought I had testicular cancer? Yeah, yeah. that turned out to be a, a bumba. Clot. It was a bumba clot, dude. Oh my god. Is that a, in the yo? I wrote an article actually in the New England Journal of medicine about bumba clots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens if you get too many jerk chicken wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. Your ass just stops working. <laughs> yeah. stops working. My ass is bumba clogged. It's, I got a bumba clog. <laughs> well, bumba just means blood. That's how they say blood, right? It doesn't no, mean a, b- a bumba clot is a gay man. It's a it's a gay. Slur. I thought it just was, really. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, isn't yeah. isn't like literally? Oh, no, ba- Bati boy is a gay. Slur. Here's the thing: everything Jamaicans say is a gay slur. That's true. That every every <laughs> sentence that they speak is some kind of homophobic thing. <laughs> yeah, they really they yeah, really don't like uh, queers over there in Jamaica. No, they really hate them. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen daggering? Do you know what daggering yes, is? Their yes. form of dancing where they like jump dick first off a table and like <laughs> smash their dick. It's, yeah. it's, it's like WWE. It totally is. But it's dancing. You would think it would be like Gold Dust's finishing move. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. just leading no, straight. Th- have you seen it, Adam? Do you know about this? Um, what What is this again? Gangnam Style? <laughs> yeah, Gangnam <laughs> Style. Yeah. Uh, daggering. Daggering. They call it daggering. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like a dance hall. I haven't hall. seen it. Um, yeah, no. I mean, it's just like very aggressive dry humping is like mm-hmm. the dance form but then they're doing shit like jumping off balconies like crotch first <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. they just slam their dick into a woman's face and she'll like collapse mm-hmm. onto the ground so good that is it's how cool. that is how Bob Marley died I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah uh the doctors told him you got to you got to stop stop daggering you got to stop, stop daggering. daggering no dagger no You're cry gonna get a That'd be terrible. Um, yeah, no, my ball cancer turned. Well, my not ball cancer. was a bumba clot. Yeah, it was a. It was a. Uh, I don't know, some kind of cyst or whatever. I went. To, I had to go to a Chinese urologist, uh, Doctor Louis, who had uh, one star on Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> Why you fun? did it on purpose? <laughs> no, you man. did it on purpose. No, nah, it's because That's doctor, I had to get. Dog. Yeah, I had no. Dog. I was automatically assigned the primary care physician in Chinatown. And then so, like, any China. kind of referral I get is going to be from, yeah. like... No, you can change that shit. You I could, yeah. yeah. Well, I got to re-up now. I got to go see a specialist. Can I get some Medicaid? Again. Yeah, yeah. I got to... Uh, my, my year... Yeah, I have just a fucking pain in, like, right by my, uh... Like, under my mm. hip, between my hip and mm. dick. What's that all about? I don't... <laughs> That's probably testicular now? cancer. You think so? I mean, I didn't have a pain. I had a lump. And I had to go check it out. It's gone now. It just went away on its own. Yeah. Did he jerk it off? <laughs> no. Yeah, he, well, he, was he funny. sucked it out. He was jerked it out? <laughs> well, yeah. What's funny is... Uh, <laughs> bing! <laughs> just something shoots out of your dick after he jerks you off. Yeah. No, I mean, they play with your balls and dick. I mean, it's not like you'd be like, would you jerk you Fag. off? It's like, kind of, yeah. He got rectal? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a urology. He got rectal before? Yeah, he did. He did that. And you know what the worst part about a, a proctology exam is? Yeah. Is you think it's the finger in your ass. It's not. The worst part is is when you're walking home and yes. they didn't clean all the lube out That's and right. you're leaking fluid out of your ass into your pants and anytime Absolutely. you sit down you can feel it. And that's like that's like the morning after scene in American History X when mm-hmm. they're all laughing at him in the cafeteria. <laughs> that's how I felt, you know, in Starbucks <laughs> after I got a finger in my ass by the Chinese guy. And by the way, he had this bucket full of Magnum condoms in his office. What? Yeah, and it's like... No, nope. mm. what are you? You're gonna say something. I'm gonna say something racist. Yeah. Man. Well, let's you know where it. I'm going with this. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. it does. We we've got plenty of racist stuff to cover. So that's true. We're, we're not we're not uh, worried about time on this one. I don't the think. um, uh, when I had you it done, I'd never been penetrated rectally, and it was an old man. Nice. And he was like, "I'm gonna have to give you a rectal exam." And then when they touch, when they press the prostate. It feels like you need to pee really bad. Yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't d- feel that. I didn't feel anything except what the fuck. That was the only experience. That means you're I had. gay. Yeah, oh, yeah. That that means you're gay. Gay. What I meant to say was that it uh, felt good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which trick. one? Which if one it feels good, that's, that's, that's gay too. Yeah, I was lying. I yeah. was. 
I, whichever one you guys <laughs> felt, that was, that's my answer. No, I, just, I made a noise. I was just like, I did a... <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, that's normal. I was like, huh? <laughs> when he did it. <laughs> I like, yeah, fuck I, my pussy. I picked pussy. my pants up off the floor. <laughs> <Fuck> my ass. <laughs> and I came fuck into my <laughs> pants. <laughs> fuck my ass. I had my pants off, but I found my pants to come in them. <laughs> nice, and then man. I put them back on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> really it, quickly. Yeah. That's what I do with girls, too. Yeah. You guys ever do that? You have sex and you pull out and then you go get your pants from the other side of the room and you come in them? Definitely. <laughs> in the pocket. In the right pocket. Yeah, yeah. So I <laughs> just I get can. my fucking <laughs> wallet yeah, completely yeah. Full I, Well, I went to college in England and that's what they do there. So. I couldn't come like on a person until very recently. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Because what would you do? When I got jerked off for the first time, I was like... When I got jerked off for the first time, I was like in this girl's car... I love it. In the middle of the desert, outside of Las Vegas, where I'm from. Very and, nice. um, like, I'd never gotten a hand job before, and it lasted, like, it was like a, an hour and 45 minutes. Jesus. Hand job. So, when you, did you have to, like, it was like half her? a Scorsese movie. You have to, yeah, you have to, like, <laughs> come on her in a hole in the middle of the desert. <laughs> no, no, yeah. it wasn't actually a Scorsese movie. How much shit? Yeah. We were outside Las Vegas. Though. What? Is it, was it in her car? I'm from Las Vegas for the listener. Well, you said it. There's already, no one dude. listening. Yeah. All right. Um, so <laughs> we got any Las Vegas fans out there? We got any the Flintstones baby. two Viva Vegas. Rock Vegas fans out there? Oh my God! Rosie O'Donnell being Betty is the most criminal thing of all time. Betty's supposed to be like this hot. Everyone wants to fuck her. Was that, is that the sequel? Do you, are you dropping IMDb details about Viva Rock Vegas? I don't know about Viva Rock Vegas, but the first Flintstones, whichever Flintstones, it was like. Yeah, uh, it was Rosie O'Donnell and uh, who the fuck else was in that? Wasn't it John Goodman? John as, Goodman and was it? As, uh, wait, those Rick are like Marin. two of the hottest actors in Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but she was fucking Betty. Rosie O'Donnell was Betty, and Betty's supposed to be like the fucking. Who is that? The neighbor's wife? The blue, yeah, and the blue yeah, dress. It's Wilma is the uh, oh. who played Wilma? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I saw that shit in theaters. Me too, bitch. Anyway, yeah. I'm in this girl's car <laughs> yeah. in the desert. Yeah, and you're and getting jerked off. it's taking forever. It was excruciating. At first, she'd never, like, she, like, looked at it, and she's like, I'm not going to suck it. I was like, all right, fine, but you can if you want. But How old were you? I was, like, 15. Nice, you know, bro. Nice, right? And uh, she, at first, like, grabbed it like this mm, and just Overhand started, grip. Oh, this is for that. She did it overhand and then just started pulling it, like, She's from the starting base. A, like a lawnmower or something. She's <laughs> nice. just like yanking it. And I was like, please, no. And then, but like the the point is I had like, I I had to finish so I could say I got a hand job. Of it's course, like so yeah. pathetic. You don't have to tell me, man. All right. But so then like it was like going so long. And then finally I felt like I was going to come. And I, the, I don't know if it was the pressure of her, how like her grip or whatever. But I just came like. In my fit, I came in my own fit. I came in my we own. We talked fit. about yeah, this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, the first time a girl ever touched my penis, I came in my own face. And so then I was like, <laughs> "Girls have been like, do you want to come in my face?" And I'm like, "No, that's not nice. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> no, not it's nice. bad. It's I not guess nice. I've never come on my own face. You never have. No, dude. I fucking I was getting jerked off for a very long time. It wasn't my first hand job ever, but I think it was like the first one with like this particular girl, and. It was a similar thing where it was taking like so long, and she didn't want to suck. She didn't want to suck it, suck me, or like fuck. So I was just like, "Well, you know what? This is what you want to do. Fine, I'll let you fucking." You're and she just keeps feminist. beating me off, and she yeah, and it just like shot in my eye, actually, right into my fucking eye. I have a curved up dick, I guess. To you as well, or? Uh no, it's actually um. Let's curve down. Curve down? <laughs> yeah. So Into like my own break. asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I get uh, a boner. Loop back. I, when I get a boner, I just have sex with my ass. <laughs> I had a dream. I had a dream once that I could do that. You that you could do that? That I could ass. stick my dick, but then also like thrust <laughs> and somehow fuck my own ass while thrusting. And I remember in the dream being like, why, why haven't I been beating off like this the whole time? Oh, by the way, this is uh, sponsored by Stamps.com. Uh, Stamps.com. No, it's dude. Com, dude. it's for, what, what is it? Uh, uh, no, we're com? doing a different one oh, each okay. time. Oh, okay. yeah. What's the sponsor? I, uh, there's, I don't know. Fuck it. I, in my head, I was like, we're going to write a sketch. We're going to do a <laughs> sketch. Right. We're going to do like a work. funny commercial sketch in the break every time but then that just turned into me uh editing in like the audio from some anti-gay psa <laughs> i found from the 50s can we talk about like yes let's get in realistically uh we first of all 
is going to listen to this. A, okay, there's probably some 85 psycho. million downloads. 85 okay, million, but like realistically, there's probably some subscribers. psycho mole dog heads Look, online. Look, I, I have, I have, I have like sure. psychos. In I have twenty thousand. I have twenty thousand Twitter followers combined with the three of us. That's twenty thousand five hundred Twitter followers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Flexing on us, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the only thing I have. I'm sorry, we're in we're in Stav's office. Dude, in by the four thousand right. more, Stav's you're gonna be office. you're gonna be at Brandon's level. I'm gonna be at Brandon's level. Brandon Wardell, <laughs> feel, our boy, who uh, who has extended his trip in New York. I like be, I like when Brandon's here because it's like you just see him when he's here. Imagine keep like his life is just a fucking. He just gets fucked up and just doesn't have to have any kind of responsibility. Like, I can hang with that for a couple of weeks, but then I have to, like, go to work and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was fun. I mean, and it's still fun, like, the Yankees game and just getting fucked up and shit. But, boy, I don't want to fucking do it all the time, <laughs> like, getting so... Yeah, well, yeah. he extended his trip four more days, and it's, uh, been, it's been tight. <laughs> <laughs> it's been cool. He's not going to listen to this. He he might he probably will no, he, he probably won't. will dude he googles his own name dude. yeah that's true that he includes does. He audio is, <laughs> he is a a a rampant name searcher he was telling me about that I love to name search he was like oh, I was searching my name on Twitter and I saw these girls criticizing me <laughs> don't uh, do that dude yeah that's honestly you know I love to, I, love I haven't to. attained any modicum of success but. If I do, if people are saying mean things about me on the internet, like comics get so mad about that. Yeah, they and really do. And that is something do. that really would not bother me. It's at all. it's really inevitable. I mean, yeah. as soon as as soon as it's, you do anything that anyone could pay attention to, right. you'll get maybe like for every like ten people that are like, "Hey, yeah, this is pretty good. Good job." You have someone's like. Here's your address. Here's a picture of your house. <laughs> I'm coming there now. I'm going to fuck you. You know, I yeah. mean, like, everyone's seen, like, YouTube comments. Like, yeah. it turns into Nazi, like, within five yeah. comments. It could be any video. Well, that's yeah, the base it, level on YouTube. YouTube's somehow worse than the rest of the internet. And I why? feel like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, it's but, like... It's the most used, like, there's no, streaming. Yeah, yeah. There's, like, none of the, like, social justice, like, we shouldn't be mean to people uh, attitude on YouTube. It's one of my That's favorite comments. Point, I was yeah. watching uh, that uh, Taylor, whichever the last Taylor Swift big single was, "Shake It Off." Yeah, whatever. I think I was watching that on YouTube when it came out. Yeah, yeah. And one of the top comments <laughs> was from an account named James Bond, <laughs> and it was like all uh, N words should die. You know? Oh my! What? Yeah. Well, that is a line from the original Ian <laughs> yeah, Fleming. Yeah. It's Doctor Doctor No. Uh, Doctor No Black yeah, People. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I thought he was just quoting Taylor Swift lyrics. That's the chorus, yeah. right? Isn't yeah, that, that is. <laughs> well, I just love that it was a top comment. Yeah. Well, you know, they got enough upvotes. People are like, "Thanks, James Bond." <laughs> <laughs> For helping, you know, keep things on track here on the Taylor Swift page. That's a good point. Why aren't more motherfucking SJ dubs in the YouTube? Because they lost that war. That's they like, lost YouTube yeah. years ago. That's the Detroit of the internet is YouTube. They are growing kale in burned out houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, on YouTube. If you check down there in, in the rubble. Oh, yeah. It's in there, bitch. Yeah. Do um, you guys have uh, YouTube series that you watch? No. No. Yeah, see, that's why. It's because it's yeah, half of YouTube is like it's kids from Muslim countries. It's like kids from like their own ass Saudi Arabia. No, with their hand. watching breastfeeding videos <laughs> or like breast exam videos and be like, I love to watch her touch uh, the breast, please. You know, in the comments. Um, and then the other half is just, you know, racist. I was talking with Brandon actually last night at my apartment about my favorite Twitter account, which has been inactive since 2012. What is it? Best porn comments. Oh, hell it's yeah. It's the absolute best. Do you remember that? No. It's just like this dude just takes comments from like, you know, porn sites online. And then, like, it gets the really good shit. Yeah. Well, there was the account where they. I they came to jack my dick. You know, <laughs> like, <it's just laughs> I, I collect those. I go on Chatterbait and I screen cap, like, things people write to the cam girls. Chatterbait is, like, cam girl. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, people take off their clothes and masturbate on camera and you I can love jack it. off to them. That's and, cool. Which is, like, already sad enough to do. I mean, it's like a step beyond just looking at porn for me, is that I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to jack off to You want to know it's a real person. Yeah. This you want to feel the fucking desperation. Yeah. And the fucking this woman yeah. got fired from Barnes and Noble <laughs> in Colorado. So now I'm watching her masturbate.
it on camera. <laughs> She's not even half of them are like lesbians too, which is like it feels even worse because oh, I've never yeah. been into like lesbian porn, but especially when I know it's like actually somebody really? that's a lesbian, and it's like you don't want me beating off to you. Oh, you don't want anyone they really beating don't. off they, to you. You know what? My friend lived in like the Bay Area, and he all his friends were punks. And yeah. like th- they started, they all started different fetish sites. Like one of them was a hair fetish site. Yeah. And all these gay women were doing these like ha- like really hairy vagina porns, and like their primary uh, like population that was like buying it was like dads in the Midwest. Huh. So it was like a really interesting cross. Oh well, gosh, love that, love that big hairy <laughs> bush. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't you know? Yeah, it's a uh, huge, huge. <laughs> Reminds me of the Twin That's, Cities. I, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm making a lot of dairy out of my dick. <laughs> I love cheese and, uh, <laughs> whoa, honk. <laughs> they, they had that map also of like the number one porn search per state. Yeah. Did you oh, see yeah. that? No. What was where? I don't Do remember. Anything? Lesbian, I think, was number oh, one. Yeah, no, was. in Iran, it was, uh, Iran's <laughs> number one, something. uh, porn search term was hotel <laughs> businessman. <laughs> what? Wait, are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel business man. What does that even mean? I don't know, man. It's it's weird. It's a, like it's incredibly just a guy. aggressive, like culture. What do you even get? What, that's the... what comes out. It's like these horny fourteen-year-old, you know, Persian boys that are like, "Hotel, can I see, please, man, in hotel business?" To a, a is it gun? just a guy in a suit in a hotel jacking off, or Probably. does he have sex with a woman? I mean, maybe he has sex with a woman. Who It'd knows? be so funny if it was but just a guy. I would love in a to business look it suit. Up. He takes his suit off, he jerks off, and he leaves. Big ups to Iran for for having the most exciting, the most exciting uh, thing. But yo, see, in that nuclear deal, Iran, we're counting on you. We trust you. You're gonna hold it down, dude. You're not gonna be bad for you're 15 not gonna make years. Bombs. You're, gonna <laughs> you're do, good you're gonna boys. Make cool nuclear reactors. And we know you're gonna <laughs> listen to President Trump. So like, yeah. that's what's up. Shouts out to Iran. It was just business suit. What is it? A hotel business, man. <laughs> but back to Chatterbait. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I screen capped the, uh, the, the the shit people write to the porn girls. And one of them was uh, uh, this guy was he wrote, uh, go shawty. It's your birthday. <laughs> and the, the girl was born in like 1995. Yeah, yeah. So she, <laughs> she was like, like 12, six she was when that <laughs> song came out. <laughs> this song was like 2003. Like, yeah, go short. But even if she wasn't like, wh- D- what? <laughs> your fucking your reference is uh, hey cool hey YOLO hey, yo- YOLO <laughs> masturbating. She wakes up in the morning, checks her phone. Oh my god, I forgot it was my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go on cam. I'm gonna take my clothes off. I'm gonna finger my asshole. <laughs> Sounds good. I would beat off on cam like if my dick was nice, dude. You could make yeah, look at how many Instagram followers you have on that gay. That's show. true. You it's could not totally a gay count for the. It's he, uh, Stavron's a homosexual. <laughs> no, fetish, no, you know? no. It's a it's plus a size erotic male. Yeah, it's a uh, comedy. Model. Wink, wink. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it's, it's comedy. A, yeah, it's, it's comedy. Yeah. It's real. It's real funny. Um, it is really funny. I'm nude yeah. in almost every picture, <laughs> and I do have, but I do have at least two hundred fifty. Just gay men who love fat guys following yeah. me, but my well, dick's not like I get. I get a lot. I used to just hashtag you know, like anything I would put on Instagram with hashtag gay boy, hashtag insta gay, because you automatically get like an additional fifty likes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing that for every single one. Yeah, insta-gay. but then I, yeah, I get all these followers or these guys. Like every picture that they don't put on clothes. Every picture is them in like a speedo, nice. like on vacation. Sounds great. That's a big part of being Insta-gay? gay is being on vacation. <laughs> yeah, they go on kids. vacation yeah. all the time. They're, always, they're like Brandon. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> being gay they're is like Brandon being... with a better body. <laughs> I used to be gay. Did you? I was it. Not like did sex with men, but like I just see pictures of myself at like eight. And I'm like, that kid's gay. Oh, I was gay in the like <laughs> yeah. good at computer sense. Oh, no. I was like, like the <laughs> theater like oh, really? fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a performer. Ooh. Yeah, and you then you didn't kiss any boys. I did, it was, I kind of still liked girls, but you know I was still a fag. <laughs> Dude, know? I have one of the gayest childhood <laughs> memories. I was such a fucking I like whenever someone like I feel like all little kids when you tell them specifically not to do something, yeah, they just want to do the fucking you know the app want to do the exact opposite. And it was <laughs> my parents had uh, the don't show your privates to a stranger. Conversation oh, yo, we, in that phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue your thing. And I was hanging out with like this kid, this the next door kid. This I think his name was like, who gives a fuck? 
Uh, he was my neighbor in Baltimore when I was growing up, and I asked to see his dick when I was like six years oh, old. Oh no, no, mine I was, was different. Like, I was like, so uh, do you want to <clears throat> uh, show each other our privates? <laughs> <laughs> My, and he was like, no, thank you. <laughs> thank God that kid wasn't like some weird. I would have been gay yeah. from that. Point. I would have gotten. See, but that's just your memory contorting what actually happened. Yeah, yeah. it was actually a 30 year old man. Yeah, and I sucked. <laughs> and his that's dick. why you have that Instagram account. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> when, my, when I was a kid, like, OK, so first of all, I didn't mean gay like in the sex way, but like, sure. There was like I was at a birthday party and. Like they had Belle from Beauty and the Beast there, mm. and I like stood up like in the middle of her like presentation for the kids, and I was just like, "Well, if you're really Belle, where's the Beast?" <laughs> you know, like I was just like, like that too? I was like sassy. Yeah, I think and, all, like, all yeah, all, everybody does like stuff that's because you're a, a little boy, so you right. don't have like all the rules of masculinity yeah, drilled yeah, right. into you by the oppressive patriarchy. By the patriarchy, you. it's true. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I remember my I, when I was like six or seven, maybe I was a little, maybe was like eight or nine. Uh, I thought of like Nathan Lane was my favorite actor, <laughs> and then I found yeah, out Iago. he was gay. Yeah, I found yeah. out he was gay, and I was no, he wasn't Iago. Uh, yeah, Gilbert Godfrey, Gilbert Godfrey was Godfrey. Iago. Wait, who is Nathan? Timon Lane? and what if he was Timon one of, of yeah, Pumbaa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timon. Yeah. He That's was probably Timon. why he was Pumbaa. My he was favorite Pumbaa. Actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. the one. From oh, he's like the voice from Lion the King. The wise guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. This, the funny. So, one. and then I, f- I remember finding out he was gay and being like sad, dude. When I, I have a very never have kids. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. He's never going to have big. He's broken. <laughs> Dude, I was such a fan of the Rosie O'Donnell show. <laughs> yeah. The talk show? The talk With show. With the koosh balls? The koosh balls. Did you throw the koosh I would balls? watch that shit every day after school when I was like seven. You're and a I lesbian, remember, dude. And I remember, and my mom was like, uh, you know, uh, Rosie O'Donnell's gay. And I was like, no, she isn't. And then when I found out, I prayed for her. <laughs> to turn, like, I was also religious. And I prayed she would, like, not go to hell. I was so bummed out. <laughs> Yo, she, my uh the other thing about the penis thing you were saying like my my parents used to have dinner parties and like put me and my cousin to sleep and we'd just run down like 10 minutes later where we'd like pull our pants down and just hold our like tiny <laughs> little boy penises <laughs> and like run around and say penis party penis party penis really? party yeah and like the adults would all die of laughter we knew it was like an yeah. A one, except bit. like the one adult there that who was, was like, a pedophile, Ooh. and he was just sweating bullets. <laughs> yeah. and he was just like, oh, mom, please make them stop. <laughs> please go uh, tuck Adam and his friend in if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> no, um, that's a good, that is a good bit. We thought, yeah, we thought that was great. That was yeah. Like my cousin, my cousin would do that when he was a little kid. He his, he would like get his dick hard and then complain that it hurt. <laughs> when he was like five, he used to run around. He's like, "My dick hurts. <laughs> it's too hard. My dick hurts." Oh, let me get that for you, son. <laughs> I didn't know what an erection was, and I had a boner popping out of my boxer shorts when I was a little kid. And my dad looked at it, and he goes to my mom. He's like, "Joanne, he has an erection. Like, come here right now." <laughs> and I was like, "I don't even know what that is." My what penis was she was supposed just, to do? She's supposed to hit it. <laughs> She should put it away. Why is that the mom's job? That's the dad's job. She jerks you off to completion, right? Yeah, that would be gay. If Happy dad. Mother's Day <laughs> to every, all, the, all the single moms out there who have to bat away their sons' erections. <clears throat> put on yellow Do you guys get locked in on j- jerking? Uh, oh, um, yes, but I had you know, one time I like dead bolted the apartment. Um, <laughs> so they couldn't wait. come into their home. Well, yeah, yeah. I was like a latchkey <laughs> kid, so like my mom wouldn't get home till like seven. So I had. I'm in between 10 and like 13, it was like, okay, well, I get home at 245, and then I masturbate until 6, <laughs> 659 p.m., <laughs> and then my mom comes home, uh, and then there was, but you know, it was occasionally she would come home early or something, and there was like one afternoon where I just had like everything out, like the whole like setup. I oh, think yeah. I had like a, a, like a back massager. I was like using to jack my dick off with. <laughs> And Rubbing your balls with <laughs> it while you beat off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got, like, Vibrating yeah, your yeah. taint. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to shave her, like, her rosary beads in my ass. <laughs> was, like, just a second. And she's like, the do- door is dead bolted. So she's like screaming through the whole life. What are you doing in there? Why, why can't you open the door now? It's like a small apartment, so there's no way. I, like, I'd be like, oh, I have to walk all the way through 
and I'm like dropping shit. It was like banging against something, the <laughs> vibrator, or, like the back massager. It's like hitting the bed frame. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was embarrassing. But never walked, uh, never walked in on. My it mom completely. walked in on me, and she like. She saw it, and then she goes, "You know, you, it's very late. You should be, you should go to bed." And then she started laughing and left. Really? It was the worst. She like looked at your dick. I don't know if she saw. I was just like, she licked oh. her lips. I like turned around and I was like, "Oh, my ass was." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, I got walked in on like three weeks ago by your I was mom, in, my grandmother. She <laughs> my fucking, she, I was just As like, a man. Huh? As a man, dude. As a man, as a fucking twenty-seven-year-old man, right now, uh, my grand—I was I was home for Easter, and my grandmother like never leaves a room, and I'm just beating off with the door open. Or no, the door is closed, but she never leaves a room, and she just like ba- completely uncharacteristically barges in to give me like Easter money. <laughs> She's got like, and I'm just like, like ten dollars straight up cranking <laughs> my hog. There is no doubt. It was just, just leave it on the table. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'll come back later. <laughs> no, no, no. Put the money down. Put the money down. I am just beating off, dude. <laughs> like a computer. You can hear the porn. That's She's great. Like, yeah, dude. My, I had a friend growing up who was like Venezuelan. And they were like weird. His family's Venezuelan. And he's like, yeah, my dad taught me how to masturbate. Like his dad like instructed him how to do it. And he would like buy porn for him and shit. That's and nice. so his family was like very sexually progressive. They just accepted that their son had to masturbate. And like, uh, he would just leave the door to his computer, the computer room open. And it wasn't like a big house or anything. It was like, there was the kitchen and then the stairs and then like the room where they had their computer and you have the door wide open and his mom like would just be walking by and he would just be like masturbating <laughs> and we'd come over and she'd be like, Oh yeah, he's upstairs. And we'd go up there and be like, Hey guys, you know? like, <laughs> dick out, just beating off. And that's a part of their culture. In Venezuela. Oh, yeah. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Julio, uh, what's his name? Well, Chavez, the Germans, Chavez, yeah, yeah, the Germans off. brought it over after they um, escaped. Well, you know, were welcomed with open arms <laughs> yeah. into South America. I mean, they were gre- greeted as liberators. Yeah, they were <laughs> immediately, you know, they had a ticker tape parade for all the Nazis that uh, quote unquote escaped to South. I saw. The, remember with the uh, not my abuela thing when Hillary was like, you know, uh, ten ways Hillary's like your abuela. There was oh, like a, yeah, an article yeah, yeah. that they put out. Where That's it, hot. Yeah, it was trying to, like, appeal to... And then some girl wrote a thing that was, like... Because no, not my abuela blew up. Like, oh, all these, yeah, like, yeah. you know, Latinas or whatever. A Latin X, which is what I see online, which is, like... Uh, it's like the Ted X yeah, of... Yeah, it's oh, the really? Ted X of yeah. being Hispanic. It's yeah. if you're not really Hispanic, but... <laughs> but you want to just do your own yeah, Hispanic but you, Yeah, you want to like, do a video, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they were, like, uh, you know, complaining. There was one girl that wrote a thing, and she was, like, a white Hispanic girl from Argentina. And it was, like... Uh, it's actually, you know, w- considering the history of like colonialism and imperialism in America, for you to say you're my abuela in such a, like a culturally appropriate way, and it's like you're German. You're a white. Uh, well, you're not even German. Argentinians are like racist. Italian. Yeah. Well, you're like a Spaniard. You're a right, fucking right, Spaniard. Right, right, right. So you're th- no different from an American white person. Right. But on top of that. Your country was like, uh, we think the Nazis are pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on down. Yeah. They yeah, I love their Jews there. I dated one. What, an Argentinian, Argentinian Jew? Jew. Yeah. You showed me that guy. What was the guy on the Yeah, Argentinian Herman. Or something. Yeah, His name was like Herman. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just was a fucking... Hitler's dream. He yeah. was six eight, yeah. blonde hair, blue eye. He's on yeah, the basketball the, team. The Uruguayan team too. Diego Forlan, like <laughs> blue eyed, blonde. Um, we have to take a quick break. Uh, oh, yeah. I think so. Manu yeah, Ginobili's right grandfather was uh, actually uh, Himmler. <laughs> 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 Heinrich Himmler. <laughs> was Himmler, um, which one was the good one? The Desert Fox, right? Oh, yeah, Rommel. yeah. That was Rommel, Rommel dude. Rommel was Everyone's favorite Nazi. The yeah. tightest Nazi. <laughs> what did he do? Yeah. He was sick at fighting. He just hated. He wasn't. He just he chased lo- the British army with a small tank battalion across North Africa. Yeah, he was like the only guy that Patton respected. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is Ernst with Ernst Rommel? Yeah, he made them go so fast because they would like push up dust. So like the armies like far away would see the dust and be like, 
oh, it's a ton of people coming. And it was like just him and like j- just being a psycho. And then oh, he wow. and then uh, he tried to assassinate Hitler. Oh, so this guy was cool. He yeah, was, yeah, he they was made like a movie a, about yeah, it called he Valkyrie. Was like a career, oh, he was a Valkyrie guy. Yeah, he was like a career, like, you know, soldier. He was a queer soldier. He was yeah. queer. He was a queer soldier. <laughs> he was trans. He was yeah. LGBTQ, <laughs> RST. I mean, he R. was a Nazi for part of his life. That's true. Yeah. Um, but all the Break. good Nazis we got uh, after the war through Operation Paperclip. <laughs> yeah, so, to do science for to us. do science yeah you know what's funny about was it it was operation paperclip right? i think so so yeah. initially which the way it was named after the microsoft uh, help. Uh, yeah, yeah it was <laughs> it was clippy it clippy, was uh yeah. so initially <laughs> they were like no ss guys they're like we're only going to take like here scientists or you know like just german scientists no nobody actually affiliated with the nazi party and then it was a bit like the Russians and the Americans splitting up all these Nazi, you know, scientists like, after the war. And then they realized, like, OK, well, all the best scientists were affiliated with the Nazi party. So they're like, let's just take the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then fucking uh, what's his name? The, the guy jet that invented- propulsion yeah, laboratory. Yeah, 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 guy. yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Werner von Braun. Yeah, yeah. Werner von Braun Great is name. buried in Arlington. There's like pictures of him and like. <laughs> Uh, John F. Kennedy, they were like friends, and uh, he was just a Nazi. Yeah. He was like an actual Nazi that yeah. invented rockets to kill Americans. Nice, man. But he got us to the moon. He so got us to the moon. Now he's the hero of the movie October Sky, uh, which is uh, a Nazi movie. A Nazi movie. Good old war. Nazi propaganda. We're going to take Werner a Herzog. five minute break pee. and then yeah. Yeah, come back. I got to fuck ass. Welcome to the 90s, and welcome to a way to explore new horizons. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. You don't think it's bad? I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Of what would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, that they can't leave it alone. Yeah. They don't they want to have the, the, the last word, and you give them the last, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again and, and get into a really provocative situation. Then I think it's absolutely right. Vern, Vern, hurry up, Vern. Put this in here and that in there and that in there and this and over here. I want you to come down and help me eat this Doubles pizza. Burn, Doubles pizza is made fresh every day. Fresh crust, fresh baked, fresh toppings. And when it comes to toppings, Burn, Doubles has got it all. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Am I talking too fast for you, Burn? To... You're right, Burn. Save the pizza. I can always grow new legs. Have you driven a Ford lately? Hey everybody, welcome back to Come Town. Um, Nick, our host, is actually still in the bathroom, so I'm going to intro. We've got a very special guest here. We're speaking about... Oh, we have two very special guests, I'm sorry. Wow, what an honor. I didn't even realize she was going to be here. Um, two very special guests. Uh, the first is a comedian Nick knows uh, very well. He had him on. Uh, it was his, his. He booked him, and uh, we have Seth Cockfield here with us. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually uh, Seth Dickfield. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seth. Seth Dickfield. Cockfield is a different guy. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Uh, this is a, you're a different. I'm sorry. I uh, and there's no relation between the two of us. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, any Uh-oh. any 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 you know uh, similarities is a complete uh, coincidence. <laughs> yeah, for My all, mistake, all Seth. legal purposes, you can't say that you know uh, this is just a cruel impression of a guy I'm not particularly <laughs> friends with. Seth Dickfield. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We have Seth Dickfield here with us. Oh, boy, here I am. <laughs> Seth Dickfield did not uh, the guy, the Jew from Family Guy. Uh, we also have here uh, a very respected blogger, uh, Lindsay East. Lin- Lindsay Eats, everybody. Uh, I have been a fan of yours forever. Uh, hopefully you know how to speak. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, I don't think you're going to be able to sustain that for 30 minutes. (laughs) More Jabba da Cuckoo on Solo. (laughs) Oh, no, Lindsay had to leave. Uh, Oh, she had to to get out of (laughs) here. Oh, no, see you, Lindsay. 
Oh, good. Adam's back. <laughs> Adam's What's back. up, yo? Hey, Did you guys back. see, uh, was that uh, Jabba the Hutt? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it was. <laughs> oh, it was Lindy West. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All Lindy right. West. Um, well, I'm so glad to be here so we can talk about oh, Seth Dickfield. <laughs> about Seth, Seth, Seth Dickfield. You know Seth? Covered. Yo, Seth Dickfield and I go back. <laughs> oh, wow. He used, to pro- he used to protest outside my synagogue when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. For and they're not Jewish enough. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Seth Dickfield. <laughs> I'm not Jewish at all. I, I just talk like this for some reason. Well, Seth, I'm sorry, Adam. Please stop. I actually, I've been circumcised three times. <laughs> My foreskin keeps growing back. I keep having you know, to get it real. removed. My neighbor got I know it's a real thing. It happened to me. What? I've had my I had my dick completely cut off once I learned about feminism in 2013, <laughs> and I became woke, <laughs> as it were. I had sure. I said I said cut it off. I don't even want to uh, 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 be associated with these rapists out here. I want my dick removed. That's so progressive of you, uh, Seth. Yeah, now, you know. You where wanted did, what, what happened to your dick? Well, where'd it go? Um, I mailed it to the Republicans. <laughs> I said, "You can, you, pal, you can go ahead and keep it." That ought to show them. You can go ahead. You can put this with Andrew Jackson and the rest of your dirty money. Your move, Republicans. I had. Yeah. I paid for it with the new Harriet Tubman twenties, the oh, dick wow, removal that, surgery. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you. That's great, Seth. And I understand. I still, it's crazy how long Nick's taking in the bathroom, but. I understand that you had I hope, something. You know, I hope I hope he's getting beat up by a trans person in there. Oh, yeah, that's what you want? That's what I want. I want all the bathrooms to be filled with trans people, and they're yeah. all free, and you don't have to tip. <laughs> Great. Well, that's good to know, Seth. And you want them to commit acts of violence against cis white men. Is that correct? Absolutely. I think, I think that's the only way to restore justice is if. Uh, you know, how about we start uh, lynching these oh these straight lynching. white guys out here? Lynching what do you a little consider extreme. yourself to be? I a hero. I consider myself a hero. You but if you're talking about your my gender identity. identity, oh I well I'm I I love girls. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I love them. Oh I want to I want to kiss them and hug them and take them out on dates. <laughs> what are your pronouns? Seth? Uh, uh, Seth. Uh, is <laughs> he uh, he him her? Uh, he him she her? Oh, oh, she, oh, she, oh, they yeah. him. Her sort of a mixed bag. So yeah, whichever yeah. you know, whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Which I, you know? here's what I do: is I go into the movie theater and I say, "Do you have a military discount?" <laughs> and if they ask for the ID, I say, "Never mind." <laughs> so I guess that's what my identity is. Wow, I see. That is a, a very intricate gender uh, construct there, Seth. But. Let's. You mentioned the movies. Let's get right into it, Adam. Uh, we're not yeah. just here to gab with Seth. Oh, Seth, he, Seth's a big f- uh, film nut, right? You're a big film uh, buff. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, I am. What's your favorite movie there, Seth? Feminist Ghostbusters, hands down. It's not even out yet. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so excited it? about it. No, I mean, it doesn't come out till this summer. How do you know People, it's your favorite movie? Well, because I've been blogging about I've been talking about it for, for uh, wow, well, let's see, when did they announce it? Seven and a half years ago? I think so, yeah. I've been talking about this, <laughs> this movie, that's going to change everything. <laughs> We're going to get... I, I mean, I used to like Hillary, and then I found out that it's cooler to like Bernie. So that's <laughs> okay. that's who I support now. But okay. feminist Ghostbusters all the way. Great. What it I think we should remake every movie, but with girls. <laughs> girls, huh? They should make a what girl are your favorite, version. What are your like? What are your top five? Girl movies Titanic. That they should do girl Titanic. Girl Babe Two Pig in the City. <laughs> girl Sex in the City. Girl HBO's Girls. <laughs> So you don't think there's enough women in HBO's Girls? There should be... How many are there? There's four? There should be 72. What and then about it sends a message. What's that? To the terrorists. To the terrorists. <laughs> well, none of them are virgins. What about that. Girl Gary, Girl Ross? <laughs> <laughs> that would be my favorite movie. Girl Gary, <laughs> Girl Ross. I think David Mamet should be sent to prison <laughs> for using cuss words. You know what I call him, Seth? <laughs> But using such <laughs> using cuss words, huh? You know what I call David Mamet? David Manet, because he, he doesn't uh, use who is right. it? Is he that Zosia Mamet's father? Uh, yes, that that's, 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 how I, that's, <laughs> that's how I. <laughs> that's the best. That's how I would describe him. Yo, did, you, did you guys hear Eric Trump's dad is running for president? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know Eric Trump. Are you talking about uh, what was their fucking name? Ivanka. Ivanka. Okay. Well, oh, I, I want to fuck. Ivanka I have to so go, bad. everybody. I'm Seth, late, no, I'm late for an impromptu bris. Would you fuck Ivanka? 
I I don't I would never fuck any woman. <laughs> You know, I mean, I would respect a woman's vagina with my semi-erect penis, <laughs> but I would never. Jumped off. I would never. <laughs> yeah, he jumped what your do cock you do off, now? Yeah. How do you have sex now that you don't have a penis? <laughs> I just you've had so many into the hole, and I listen to the sound of my own voice <laughs> echoing back out until sort I of come. like a shell. Yeah. Kind of situation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like listening to the ocean. <laughs> Well, so, so nice. oh, is that Nick? Nick, well, are you back already? Oh, here I am. Oh, so you just missed uh, Seth. Oh, I miss Seth. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. Me dude. and him are best friends. Yeah, he's, he's Seth. Yo, uh, Seth's cousin's Dick here though. Field. <laughs> oh no, is he? <laughs> Who's Seth's cousin? Uh, Def. Uh, Dick Field. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Winter, Winter, Dave. <laughs> it's me, Def. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I just want to give a shout out to all the POCs out there, <laughs> <laughs> all my woke mutuals. <laughs> Dev, you you think it's not fair that you can't say the M word? I can't even hear the M word. <laughs> okay. Um, I well, okay. really hope no one listens. To the this. dick fields <laughs> are all gone. It looks like. Yeah. Um. Good so, uh, what do we have on here else? Um. Mm. I, I just wrote down some news items. The uh, Yellowstone bison. You see that story? <laughs> no, I didn't. Right, so there was like a bison calf in Yellowstone Park, and these people like saw it and they thought it looked cold, so they put it in their car, drove it to a ranger station to like save it, and the rangers are like, "Yeah, it's fine. I don't know why you oh did this." God. And then they tried to bring the bison back, but it already like smelled like asshole. You know, oh. from being in that Subaru, I'm assuming. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so, a safe guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Subaru so, hatchback. So, like, the the mom bison or whatever rejected it, and then they had to just, like, kill... Mom bison. M, M bison. M bison. M bison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had to kill it. They had to kill it. They the M bison. Yeah. Oh, my God. I bet it was delicious. My roommate took a squirrel into our apartment the other day. Why? Because she said it was a baby. <laughs> so, I mean, I, what, it doesn't have parents? She said it's a baby. She took it out of its nest. <laughs> I was like, you just can't, you can't take any type of baby yeah. <laughs> into our apartment. She's like, it didn't have a mom and dad. I was like, well, how do you know? And then apparently she actually did the right thing. She sent it back to a animal rehabilitation. Okay, it was boring. Oh, really? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, nice. Top five animals. Stop. Go. Uh, rhinoceros. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, you know their horn? Not ivory. It's actually uh, keratin. That's a, it's a unique animal among the. Others. That's what you straighten hair with. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's what hair is made out of. Oh, oh yeah. wait, yeah. damn. So a uh, rhinoceros's horn is like a big fingernail on their fucking oh, their head. That's and hot. humans can actually grow them. Humans can have like if you have, there's like it's a rare thing and it oddly affects Chinese people more than anyone else. Oh, but here uh, you go spinning your conspiracy theories. <laughs> I'm pretty. You know what? I got offered an apartment outside of Chinatown. I might take it because it's oh, two hundred dollars yeah? cheaper than my current place. What? Where? Where? Bed oh yeah, yeah. Bed oh, bed yeah, you'll be neighbors ah. on Gates. Yeah, I yeah, kind of yeah. want to do it, but it's Brooklyn like boys. Damn, it. come through, dude. Yeah, dude, you got to move bitch. I'm an Astoria boy, and yeah. I love to. Do fuck. you even? How often do you speak Greek? That's the only benefit of living there. Is Every time I order a gyro, I speak Greek. Okay, so once a day. Yeah. <laughs> Twice a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I use it a lot, actually. I use my Greek a lot. Yo, Zorba, give me a fucking sandwich. Yeah. Uh, you want to you speak a little Greek for the podcast? Yeah, what listeners? do you want me to say? Um, top five animals in Greek, go. In Greek, Lodari. Lion. What is that? Lion. Pretty Lion? Good. Lions are tight. Isn't it Leonidas? Yeah. <laughs> it's um, uh, Michael Dukakis. Uh, that's a, that's my third animal. Um, that was my dad's joke when I told him he, he'd never heard the term plot synopsis before. <laughs> when I was explaining the plot synopsis to a movie, he's like, "What the fuck is a plot?" He's synopsis? never heard the term plot synopsis. No, he's like, it, "It's just what it's about. That's the, the what happens in the movie." He would never say plot synopsis. Mm -hmm. So I said it to him one time, and he's like. That sounds like a like a Greek like film professor like George Plot synopsis. <laughs> Plot synopsis actually does yeah. No, good. but it's a very dad joke. But I I was proud of him. It's for that a good one. joke. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. I give um, dad props. What else are some good? Uh, yo, octopus. Uh, oh, octopodi. Octopodi. Uh. Isn't that already Greek? Is well, my parents are You're South just African. saying it in a stupid way. I could do no, Afrikaans. You wanna? You want me to do some? Yeah, let's do here some Afrikaans. It's just the N word. Um, yeah. So here's uh this is how you how say How fucking funny is it that white people went down there and they're like, We're inventing a language, it's called African. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, wait, it's our language, but it's called African. It's a Dutch the entire continent. It's a Dutch like uh 
deri- it's a derivative of Dutch. So if you speak Afrikaans, you can understand Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It's like a pidgin language. Yeah. That the servants would speak. Mm. Okay, so this is uh, – I remember Jewish actually language? once my dad used to have this saying in Afrikaans um, when I was a kid. And he said – grass uh, on the field, play ball. He said, there was a lion. <laughs> 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 Dia was a lion. <laughs> Did your parents like uh, sing the? Circle he was a great warrior. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really good. Yeah, dude. yeah. My dad used to say. <laughs> your dad used to say that all the time. Yeah. Was your dad killed by his brother? Um, by his he was to killed by his Remember brother. By antelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get it, guys? That's a Lion King reference. I Number said it before. It fell flat, and then I made I <laughs> yeah. made Remember a reference about to the movie. All right, favorite. Song from Diz movie oh, on damn. three, all of us. Oh, fuck. One, I two, three. That Gaston song. Under the sea. Gaston song. <laughs> Gaston. That guy's in love with Gaston. <laughs> He's like, no <laughs> one fucks like Gaston. No one looks like Gaston. No one can suck on my dick like Gaston. <laughs> Gaston was gay, right? Like, uh, well, no, his no, friend was. was. Gaston is the hero of that movie. <laughs> he's like he the saved her for that piece. Yeah, it's like a fucking monster. I love Gaston, yeah. It's a monster. Little... It, first of all, uh, Gaston, uh, for all of his flaws, is not some rich asshole <laughs> right, that right, lives right. in a castle. I also love that no one in that town was like, hey, didn't we have like a prince? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't, didn't we have like a royal family that <laughs> controlled everything? Oh, what yeah. happened to that prince that we had? <laughs> You just want to turn into a monster in the castle. We got to wrap it up because Stav's got to do a more important podcast. <laughs> yeah. um, biggest item. I know you guys have been waiting for it. I stopped by the Red Box today. There is a new Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater oh, 5. Shit. For but what? Which system? I don't know. I mean, PS4? I don't play video games anymore. Dude, wow. that's, a, that's that good to get me back track, in. That soundtrack is Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. my favorite. Misfits, uh, AFI. Gold Finger Superhero gets me amped. Yeah, uh, the Kennedy's mighty mighty police truck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, that was probably my you know? Yeah, race car driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I died fifty thousand times to race car driver. Yeah, <laughs> just crashed. Oh, what? You can't die in that move in that game. No, game. but yeah, I'd, like, die, I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. happens to the skater. You don't yeah. fucking land well, the in your head. They had off. blood in the PlayStation version. They took it out of the Nintendo version because yep. Nintendo Nintendo's was like gay about you know having yeah. having violence. Which you guys have you ever played Conker's Bad Fur Day? No. You haven't? Mm-mm. Okay, so like Rare Rare was like Nintendo's, you know, like that was like their best developer or whatever. Mm-hmm. You make Goldeneye and like Donkey oh, Kong right. and all that shit. And uh, they got tired of making, like, ch- games for children. And I, I don't remember the details. I'm probably right. fucking it up. Right, right, this right. is the way I tell the story, and I you know, run enjoy it. it. Right, yeah. So they had to make a platformer for Nintendo, and they chose, th- like, this character, Conker, which was, like, a squirrel from the Diddy Kong Racing game. Yeah, and didn't he, like, fuck? Yeah, the whole shit? game, he's, like, you know, drunk, and he's, like, fucking. Come on, pussy. Yeah, no, pretty much, dude. He's, like, that's so yeah, sad. one of the bad guys is, like, a giant pile of shit that's, like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, like, cursing or whatever. And they released the game, and, like, it got rave reviews, and then Nintendo, like, just sold the company after that. They were furious. Because it was, like, ed- like adult? Yeah, because then they want to make, you know, I mean, you like you. Yeah. I, they still make the same shit. What is it? What is did that guy make? Anything else? Do you know the what Conquers that company? I, well, it was a whole company. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah like Goldmine, Perfect Dark, and all that shit. I know uh, Microsoft bought the company. I don't know oh, what they did after that. Yeah, I want to play Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that wasn't that a game just about fucking the whole thing? Pretty much. There was another game uh, for the Atari called uh, Custer's Revenge, mm. where you just played a you naked General Custer. <laughs> he just didn't have clothes on, and you had to like run through all these like Indian shooting arrows at you, and at the end of the you level, got to rape? you got to rape. There's a, what? There's a Native uh, American Wait, are you woman. fucking serious? Yeah, there's a Native American woman tied up to a tree, and you <laughs> rape her as General what? Custer. What? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What and the How fuck? about that, Jezebel? <laughs> About that game for you. you. Rape yeah, yeah. That's the. That's yeah, what you, you get. My old but it's friends. revenge, dude. It's not like this isn't just some. This is General Custer who oh, lost. Oh, that's a good point. That's a my good old point. friend Eric Tilden's mom named all the Pokemon. Really? I say old friend because he's mad at what, me. Now, d- so does what that do mean, mean she name? could name them? No, she named all like the ones that are like. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the cool mom. Bulbasaur. <laughs> no, she was an executive at Nintendo. 
And like obviously Pikachu was like Japanese, but like all like Bulbasaur, yeah, that's one that she named. Like really? all the English cognate ones are interesting. Like, did yeah. she name Mr. Mime the blackface one? Yeah, she <laughs> that was her. <laughs> she had a meaner name for him yeah. in the first draft. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um N word Larry. <laughs> 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 it's from Ash. the Mark Twain <laughs> novel, okay? It's from a book. <laughs> uh, Huckleberry Chog Lips. <laughs> uh, and on that note, um, apologies to everybody. Um, let's uh, join us next week when our guest oh, will be gosh. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, yeah, he's a big fan. He uh, yeah, DM'd he sent me you, a message, he? and he actually said that we could use the N-word. He said... <laughs> Uh, he said, I, "I give you uh, Adam. You want to go first? Neil deGrasse uh, deGrasse <laughs> Tyson is uh, the guy that's allowed yeah. to tell people he invented bat flipping. He's the scientist <laughs> that invented bat flipping. Hell, hell yeah, bitch. Hell yeah. All right, so we should end it. All right, uh, thanks, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You for uh, come town. Good luck. Stay safe, and make sure to use the right bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> good night." Um, Come Town Three. This one we already okay. So hello everyone, welcome to Come Town. Come Town Three. This is the big one, guys. This is the pressure's on because, uh, you know we got a huge shout out on NPR and on That's right. uh, Terry Gross. Terry uh, Gross. Shout us out on more like air. Terry Gross looking bitch. Hey. hey, take that you fucking hey. short hair haircut having ass bitch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh no, we recorded a backup one in case we couldn't do this one and it came out as garbage. It Adam sucked, ruined dick. it. We had Adam come back, and he ruined it. Uh, he wasn't talking in the mic. He wasn't paying attention. Just trashing Adam. Well, I mean, he that's how I feel. Can't defend himself I mean, I, it all. was partially my fault, but, you know, I, I blame him, too. So this is the third one. We got uh, Dan Soder. Is yeah. Oh, yeah. Which you're the real guest. You're the first time this, we haven't had, a, like, a real guest before. Oh, Adam man. doesn't count. Cause Why doesn't Adam, Adam count? count? Because you know he's, he's just a friend. Cum- you know, he's yeah, a cum- he's boy. he's like uh, he's guest like third mic on the show. Anyways, you're gonna get a lot of train in this podcast. I love it. That's the fuck yeah. train, guys. The we are train. The train live to Town. at the top of the Empire State Building yes. in the new Anthony Cumia Studios. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are live from the Baba Booey Studio yeah. in the torch it's, of the fucking you get Statue there of and Liberty. you just uh, the button to get to the new Anthony Cumia Studios is just an N. <laughs> <laughs> and you press that one. Did you ever hear like, that Russell and Eve joke where he's like, did you guys hear that story about the Asian delivery driver getting trapped in the elevator for four hours? He couldn't find the R for Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Classic. That might I be the best it. joke I've ever heard. Yeah. Think so. Russell yeah. and Eve is hilarious. Yeah. We should quit comedy. Uh, yeah. You guys all want to quit right now? Yeah. Let's do it. You want to play uh, WWE No Mercy? Fuck. Yes, I do. Do you have that? I haven't played yeah. a wrestling game since uh, like 1998. Well, guess good. what? This one came out in 2000, <laughs> right around that same time. Uh, no Mercy on 64. That's right. Oh, yeah. Then that, I probably played it. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about this Sunday? Why don't you bring your ass over here and jump in the mix with his with Stav's new character, Admiral Sex. Admiral Sex yeah. is my creative character. Name. Dude, create a wrestler and create a skater. That was the greatest yeah. innovation oh, yes. in video oh, yeah. games. Uh, uh, are you talking about Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk, The yeah. only thing better than Creative Skater was <laughs> turning off gravity, where you just do $49 million, yeah. dollars, 49 <laughs> yeah. million Oh, points yeah, points. you do that, and then, like, what's the point of even playing the game at that point? <laughs> like, I would finish, and then the score would be going off the screen, and I'd be like, yeah, it was a good afternoon. Oh, Couldn't yes. could you buy, like, jean shorts or something? If, if yeah, not. you could buy different stuff. Right, right, Yeah, right. I remember mine in uh, American Wasteland, I had, like, a blue genie guy that had a parrot on his shoulder. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we used to get super high off really terrible pot my freshman year of college and then order yeah. dominoes and then we would try to see who could get the most points in one trick yeah because if you did the thing what's it called where you uh, keep the balance rail uh, manual. manual manual if you yeah. manualed off of like a trick and then you got to like another yeah you could keep those chains going, going forever yeah so we'd get to like 49 million 50 million <laughs> yeah and it would be like when someone would fall or fuck up it would be it was uh, like ice skating yeah it's the only way i feel like <laughs> someone would fuck up and we'd be like oh and it would be like heartbroken yeah. you'd cry oh it was well, so bad me and my friends used to play the first one and uh, it was like both. Pe- it was so easy. You, we had it down to like muscle memory, to where you hit like start and then reset yeah. or restart the fucking like uh, immediately. And we had like a five second rule, like within the first five seconds, yes. you could restart. Yeah, and you would just sit there, and it would be two people playing, and who, you know whoever loses, you pass off the controller. Right, but. 
on the that first like warehouse level where you double back around yeah and like grind on that half pipe and then do and the wall come ride. back down in through the yeah wall. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would fuck it up every oh, time dude. and so we would sit there for like 45 minutes being like oh fuck oh fuck oh f- no re- let me restart yeah, no oh, fuck. no <laughs> yeah, yeah. no dude if you fucking restart one more time <laughs> the school in the uh there was like a bus stop that was on like tony hawk three yeah we would play and I'd always put on Ace of Spades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> and I'd just be so my f- high. My favorite line in that song <laughs> is uh, is when he goes, uh, and don't forget the Joker. He just like, oh, yeah. that's another. And by the way, there's another card that's cool. Yeah. What Joker about card. the Jack of Hearts? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm playing poker. <laughs> hey, Lemmy. I'm uh, glad he's dead. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that too far? No, nah, yeah. Lemmy's me, let me Dude, by the way, we are in some heavy train time. Yeah. yeah, it's back. Every time you hear that train, a woman is coming off of the train to fuck us, guys. I love that there's, yeah, there's always a train running when I'm trying to have a conversation and never when I need to ride the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Should I do that? Is that a good bit? That's, that's, a, good a, that's Thanks, a good dude. one, dude. Yeah. That's a really good bit. Yo, I'll be on there. I'll be have trying to get on that train, yo, and then it ain't ever there when I need it. Have you ever noticed this? That's a good this? bit, too. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> um, um I don't know if Dundalk guy would make that observation. Yo, yeah, yo. I ain't never been on a train. Too many <laughs> different kinds of Mexicans on there, yo. <laughs> they got too many different types, yo. Too many flavors, yo. I know about Puerto Ricans, and I know about Mexicans, and that's it, yo. I ain't learning no Ru- Uruguayan motherfuckers, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's always That's funny when they have like spe- like with dumb shitheads like that always have like a like one or two really funny lines. Oh yeah, yeah. Because then you're like, how dumb are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. clearly. Well, there's, that's Walt basically. Remember? Walt oh yeah, Walt. Oh man, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we we bring up like um, I don't want to call him a shitty he, he a shitty comic because for for where he is. And yeah, he's he's shockingly talented. He murders. He fucking yeah. murders. This in, Dundalk, yeah, just Walt Ostrowski, bro. Yeah, um, uh, the guy looks like a fucking Twitter egg with a goatee. <laughs> if you put a goatee in the middle of the Twitter egg, and then you give him a Ravens hat and camo yeah. Ravens pants. The first time <laughs> I met this guy, we did a show together at like in Federal Hill at some bar, one of those color me funny shows. Oh yeah. And uh, I go into the bat. He used the bathroom before me, and I go into the bathroom after him. <laughs> And he had taken a shit and not flushed. Oh. <laughs> and it was just, just steakums yeah. floating in the toilet. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to do it like it's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it house style, take a dump. <laughs> and I, you know. But now, hold on. Not only did he not flush, no toilet paper next to the turd. Oh. So he just had shitted and then. <laughs> he would dry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a lot I'm, of I'm going commando. That's not what commando means, Walt. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it Rambo style. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. How did you not call this podcast The Baltimore Boys? The Baltimore Bad Boys? Because Cometown is the best podcast. Yeah, name. we wanted to have a lot of Also, the theme wasn't going to be Walt Ostrowski every single <laughs> yeah. fucking week. It should be, though. You guys should do a fucking homage to him a every deep time. Dive. We do get pretty deep into a shitty Baltimore comedy. Yeah, we did. We mentioned uh, Tom Myers on the first one. We uh, we apprised a bunch of people of, of the great Tom oh, Myers. Oh, yeah, dude. If you know about Tommy Myers, we won't cover it now. We'll, yeah, we'll we already did that one. Yeah, but I'll he's cut. one of the best, dude. Yeah, Tom, Tom might be the best shitty comedian. Oh yeah, I put him up against any anybody shitty comedian. Was there anybody in like Denver? I didn't start. Oh, I you started, started in Arizona, Tucson. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah, who there was this, like there was this uh, Mexican dude that was from the South Side that he'd just get up at the open mics and he'd go, "He white people, <laughs> they always be like speeding, like too, <laughs> and he would murder. <laughs> he would murder, and he wouldn't be saying anything." I think his name was Smiley or something. Like, yeah, of course, his name is Smiley. He goes, "White people are always just like, die fucking spit," <laughs> and it would fucking annihilate, dude. It would annihilate. They always have names like Smiley, and they always have airbrush T-shirts. Oh yeah, Smi- Smiley Spider just got shot, isn't it? Dude, there was a spider where I grew up. Uh, he was like that, but he was like a there was. So here's the weird thing about Denver: it's Mexico. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, right. But only 200 years of whiteness. Right, so there's right, a lot right. of Mexican Over people top. there. And there's a surprising amount of black people in Aurora. I hope my door's opening. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> um, but there's there's this kid. Uh, Pueblo is like a huge um, Mexican city in, in Colorado. Mm. Okay. Pueblo, Colorado. Really? And this kid, Jerry Garcia, <laughs> moved... Name. To uh, to Aurora when we were in middle school, mm-hmm. and he was like straight stereotypical cholo, like 
blood in, blood out. Had the unibrow, uh, uh, hair slicked back, always wore wife beaters. Was oddly muscular in eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. Like man body in eighth oh, grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, kids yeah. had hit puberty at like four. And he had a mustache. He yeah. had like the little shimmy mustache. He was like super into like fingering girls. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, what am I into yet? Fingering girls. No, yeah. but he'd be like, dude, I'm telling you, man, like Laura's <laughs> pussy gets all wet and shit. And I, I just had a big head and I was like, I want to see boobs. <laughs> uh, I just want to see their boobies. Their lady parts oh, scare me. Yeah, dude, there were, there were these like, these kids were just talking in gym class in eighth grade. Grade, and they were like talking about fucking a girl yeah. and i was just like i was doing the cartoonish like leaning over <laughs> way too close they were talking about sex and they're like hey yo he listening yo he listening he ain't never fuck yo and i was just humiliated in gym class i was like whoa no i'm not listening i'm not i've never and the girls laughing at me uh, like ah, yo he, yeah, you dude, have a fuck yo it's so like, it's <laughs> funny when you see like um uh, a lot of black dudes are much more liberated sexually than white dudes. Like, yeah, I ran a train with that on that bitch, and then <laughs> guys would be like, I would never be in a room with another man. Yeah, but my... then they're also they're homophobic. Yeah, in that's ways. what's they're weird. like. I don't eat pussy because the penis went in the pussy yeah. at one point. Like, but dude, you were touching your boy as you <laughs> yeah. banged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, balls yeah, were no. clacking together like one of those fucking. Yeah. What are those machines called? Those e- endless motion, perpetual motion machines. Oh, wow, dude, that? that's such a smart reference. <laughs> the clack- like, balls clacking like those are pretty funny. Oh, those things. Oh, the new, uh, Newton Newton machines. Newton, yeah, Newton yeah. balls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember in sixth grade, this girl Mikey L. Biggie just came out. Ready uh, to Die just came out, mm-hmm. and I was in, I was like eleven, and I was like trying to be cool. Yeah, yeah. But I still wanted to go home and play with my X Men action figures. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Like, I was, like, waiting to get home to be like, I'm going to set up a fort on the stairs. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'll probably turn the couch into Magneto's lair. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really going gonna... to. Did you actually, like, do that with the action figures and toys? Because I remember, like, toy yeah. commercials as Hell a kid. Yes. The kids were always, like, setting up scenarios with the toys. Yeah. And I'm like, who actually does that? My, oh. my dumb ass. Really? I did it too. Hell yeah. Yeah. I didn't even have that. I didn't do action figures ever. So but I can't imagine. I didn't have an imagination. Well, <laughs> I, I think you did. I just think you have the emotional reins of a lizard. That's true. Yeah. Never. Your action figures yeah. just murdering each other. That, yeah. was, that was the whole thing. Yeah. It was just... Or it was, just a, it was just a trial for a murder that <laughs> yeah. happened. You didn't even get the joy of like smashing your action figures into each other. You're just doing like a high-ranked, high-pressure o- OJ-like trial. <laughs> of Wolverine. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if the blades do not come out of his hands, <laughs> he clearly did not do it. He's just shredding the glove. With yeah. the <laughs> there you go, bub. But I was in sixth grade, and Mikey L was like, I did that thing where, and this is a life lesson I should have learned that day, but it didn't stick until I was about 28. But I go, oh, yeah, that new Biggie album. It's awesome. And she goes, is he a person or a group? Oh, go, got me stuck. Oh, so you were just because it was notorious B.I.G. and I was like, "There's no indication of singular or plural." I was like, "She said, is he a person?' Though I know I'm dumb. No, oh, she goes, right. "Is that a group or a person?" That's what she said. Oh, she was checking you. Damn. Yeah, she checked. Me. She yeah. caught me. I go, "It's a guy." She goes, <laughs> okay, and I go. That's the right answer. <laughs> She's like, you don't know, Biggie. I was like, no, I don't know. Look, can I please finger you? Uh... I just want to go play with my eggs, man. <laughs> but then uh, when Jerry Garcia moved into town mm. and he was fingering all those pussies. That's right. <laughs> one day in eighth grade, my, my best friend Byron was like, hey, Jerry Garcia, where's the re- rest of the Grateful Dead? Wasn't even a good zing. Right. Yeah. But you just don't res- disrespect like a young cholo <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he lit Byron up with like six punches quick. Like, <laughs> turns out he was fucking a Golden Gloves champ out of Pueblo. Uh, so he just shit. fucking blasted him. Everyone was like, dude, the two toughest kids in my school that were Mexican were both Golden Gloves fighters. And they were like John Casados and Jerry Garcia. Jeez. One time there was a straight mini race war where the, uh, <laughs> this black dude named Carlton who's in prison. Get Carlton out of nice. prison. Uh, Free Carlton, Free, Free Carlton, Carlton, everybody. Jerry uh, or John Casado. It was it was John Casados, Carlton, and this Asian dude named Solomon, and they all fucking fought. And everyone was like, "This is crazy." Uh, it was a three way fight. Yeah, 
Really? But it was like all minorities. Yeah. 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 Well, then the, all white, the white teachers kids can't just step in. They don't know no, what to do. They, yeah. can't, they it, probably orchestrated it somehow. They, were they didn't like me because that day I wore a, 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 thro- a fucking crown. And I just sat at the edge and I did the sideways <laughs> thumb. <laughs> and then I gave him the thumbs down. Yeah. Like, yo, man, I feel like this white dude's controlling all this. <laughs> That's my evil intention. Race wars. Do real think, race wars. Do you wars. think uh, different minority groups would team up if there was a real race war? Oh, yeah, Patrice sure. has that bit. Does he? Yeah. yeah. Whoops, he says, my like, bad. So you're a hack. Yeah, So yeah. way to be a Fucking hack on your hack. own. But no, I think it would... <laughs> I'm it would deleting come. this one too, dude. We're getting Adam back. We're bringing Adam back. Bring Adam back. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be, yeah, I think it would be like Asians would go with white people. Mm-hmm. Mexicans would go... Mexicans would team up with the blacks, right? Yeah. I think Mexicans and like Indians. Ooh, no, no, no. Indians... That'd be 50-50. You don't know which way they go. Because, dude, I'm in Midtown. I see a lot of, like, young Indian kids, and they're just, like, they act black. Like, they drop they, the N-bomb. They, 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 act, they act black in the they way. They drop the they, N-bomb. They act push black in the way the white, white guys act black. See, we don't have Uyghurs anymore. Indians stole that from us. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they like, culturally Asians appropriated stole our culture. No, no, because the Indians, because they're, they're, all their families are, like, affluent. All their families yeah. are, like, doctors that make, you know, <laughs> millions of fucking dollars. So they're rich kids. All <laughs> the Indians are rich kids. No, pretty much dude like the average income for like an indian family in america is like a hundred thousand dollars nice that's the average that weird, but yeah get yeah. it but uh yeah no they stole they stole wigger from because there aren't any more <laughs> they don't have them uh there's Dundo. a dude i don't know man i yeah. think you gotta go no you gotta, that's just you like go a to the strongholds style. yeah dude, i'll tell you this northern california like podunk northern california yeah like oh some good colorado trash but yeah. i mean like a guy that's like no, nah, I'm saying, no, nah, I mean, you know, like yeah, one of those, yeah, yeah, yeah. those guys are still very few. But no, you but you're right, them. though. As a c- culturally, though, culturally there's way more yeah. like Indian dudes doing that right now and just Indian people in general. South I'm, Asian, I would say. There was, a, there was a kid that I remember from uh, middle school that would walk around with like an, a very affected pimp limb. <laughs> like that was from class <laughs> to class. Remember, there was a terrifying white and people kid were like, that's just how he is. That's his thing. There was and a it's kid like, I, I guarantee know. you he's not doing that now at whatever bank he works at. I don't even want to say this guy's full name because he was legitimately terrifying yeah his name was andy and he used to wear i don't want to say his full name he wore afro sheen in his hair <laughs> that's how big of a wigger he was yeah straight up oh he'd be like what's up dog but he was also a live wire yeah that's why when Chappelle put out killing him softly and he did that joke yeah the about, joke about, about the yeah. most dangerous motherfucker in them groups mm-hmm. immediately i thought of andy i was like yeah. Yeah, yeah i know who that is and that he's fucking crazy yeah dude spider we were talking about spider that's how it all got started yeah, yeah yeah one night me my friend mike and byron are sitting on mike's driveway right and we're just hanging out suburbs upper middle class neighborhood right. middle class to upper middle class neighborhood straight up suburbs and we're sitting there, and this fucking Cadillac just comes rolling down <laughs> and takes a hard corner. And uh, Byron goes, I think that's Spider's Cadillac. And I was like, yeah, but where's Spider going? He was going up the street towards our friend Joel's house. All of a sudden, the Cadillac just fucking turns around, flips a bitch, and starts driving towards us. And we're like, well, this is kind of getting weird. Right. Fucking across the street, over the street, up the driveway. We're like, ah! We just take off, go around the side of the house to mike's house <laughs> jump the fence get into his house and shut the sliding glass door and lock it and fucking spider and andy are just at the door fucking beating on it and we're like oh and then Wait, why, were, why were you afraid of them because they were gonna kick the shit out of us for what what did you do i don't know just they just started fun? running at us dude. Oh, they just shit. broke out at us we were gonna stand there and be like let's figure out what's going on right these yeah. two dangerous dudes and they just they chased obviously they were gonna try to fuck us up holy they chased shit us in the backyard dude that was it was so crazy because it was one of the things where I ran in the house being like, yeah, we didn't have to do that. And I looked and I was like, yeah, they were, like, <laughs> yeah. They were there. Like, yeah. I, uh, there, was a, there was like this guy that was like a wig that I remember when I was a teenager. A wig. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, that's, you know, you get to say that word. So yeah. I want to fucking. You really get it. Yeah. Get yeah, your yeah. money's worth uh-huh. out of it. Yeah, definitely. So no, but he, he one of the and he's like a dumb guy that said had like a great line. Yeah. And it's still one of the funniest things I've ever heard. We're like sitting around like a table and uh, some like these two girls were talking about like IQs or whatever. Mm -hmm. And one of them is like, well, my IQ is 120. So that's like really smart. And the other one's like, oh, really? Because mine's 121. You know, they're like like doing that back and forth. 
and this kid who's you know white bandana white fitted cap you know yeah. like big white t-shirt where they dress like black guys but then the clothes all have to be white like they have like, <laughs> the white air force ones so you know? it makes them all look super pale too. yeah 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 well they have to match their skin tone they just do like a fucking you know like uh where they take like uh sub-zero and make him scorpion yeah so they look like a black guy like they just change they do that <laughs> where it's like the alternate outfit yeah. where you were like Mortal oh dude Kombat. check this out this guy's got a white guy filter oh yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, so he's sitting there. Light at the table. blue too. They like a lot of light blues. Oh yeah, yeah. Carolina blue baby. He's starting. <laughs> he's sitting there at the chair, like as completely slouched as possible, yeah. with his like pants basically pulled down to his ankles, like he's fucking, you know, just as relaxed as possible. And they're talking about IQs, and he goes, "Man, I ain't even gonna bring my IQ up because you wouldn't. Man, y'all wouldn't even believe me if I told you." <laughs> and I was like, "What's your IQ?" And he goes, and "He's like." Four hundred and seventy-two. <laughs> <laughs> what a dipshit! Dead serious. <laughs> what a dipshit! Four hundred and seventy-two. What a dipshit! <laughs> I was like hyperventilating. Yeah. I think because they delivered it in a way where it was like the funniest fucking. Did oh, he? Yeah. Was he trying to be funny? Or was he no, he was dead serious. Oh yeah, all those dudes. He was dead serious. All those dudes thought they were so. Smart. Yeah, no, he was going. I remember he was always like, "I work for BMW, man. I make six figures. I work for BMW," and he was a, like a detailer at like a BMW. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I totally forgot about those kids that would brag about adult stuff. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There was yeah. this white girl who was a wigger. <laughs> and she reached out to me on Facebook. Nice. Because she saw Recently? me. Recently? Yeah, she saw me on Showtime. And so she was like, <laughs> oh, my God, you doing things. And I was like, you're in your 30s. <laughs> yeah. You're still doing this? You're in your 30s. She was like, hot. I'll show yeah, you the picture. Yeah, yeah. She was hot, yeah, yeah. but she would just fuck with like thugs. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. hardcore thugs. Right. And she uh we were in math class, and it's so funny you bring that up with people just straight lying. She go, Yeah, my dad owns Bally's. And I was like, <laughs> What? Yeah. Did they goes, go company go out of business? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this was back when they were like kind oh, yeah. of the hot the, like the hot thing. They kind of were like, the hot gym for their She for goes, sec. Yeah, my dad be owning Bally's. I was like, Why do you live in Aurora? <laughs> yeah. and she was like, Because my mom's from here. My dad wants me to like grow up like my mom. It's just like dumb shit like yeah, that. Yeah, always a lie, always a bullshit lie. Yeah. My friend my friend told like a fucking great lie when we were like teenagers. He goes, uh, I wasn't there for it, but he told our other friend, he's like, uh, yeah, when I'm like high and shit, I can like understand German. That's hilarious. <laughs> the language. <laughs> I can't speak it, but when I'm high, I can understand. He'd never taken German. It's just the similarity between yeah. English and German. <laughs> so used to love, you think about all those like shithead middle school, high school lies that you would tell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, we were using my mom's old forerunner to um, take out trash cans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I used to fucking I used to t I, my first car was a fucking uh, uh, Chevy Blazer, and we yeah. would s we would set up in the Pizza Hut. There was a Pizza Hut connected to like a fucking giant and a fucking just a, a shitty strip mall in in Dundalk actually, and we would just set up like uh, uh, shopping cart obstacle courses, and I would just smash through <laughs> shopping carts in the fucking and how then, fun is it yeah. once it's you the get, most fun once you get through the actual thing of like oh no I shouldn't be doing this yeah. once you've committed yeah. you're just, to smashing shit with a car yeah so we and my mom was four on her I didn't have a car I think my car died or something so I, we're driving around and I was like hey we should take out I thought it was funny I was like let's let's take out these trash cans it was like boom yeah. and then it just became the whole night's activity of course we were just like running shit over but we were trying to push a porto potty over <laughs> <laughs> We were trying to push it over, and we drove by it, and I, like, tried to push it with my hand, but it fucking didn't. It just jammed my hand. And I go, oh, I broke my arm. I broke my arm. And my friend Joel was recording me on his hand camcorder. It was back in the day at camcorders. He goes, I don't think you broke your arm. And, go, I and then, like, five minutes later, he lost the videotape, but five we've watched, uh. we watched it as adults. Five minutes later, he's sitting there and goes, hey, Soder, has your broken arm? And I go, shut up. I didn't break my arm. <laughs> it was one of those lies. Where I was like, yeah. no, guys, I really did. I broke yeah, my yeah, arm. Yeah, I'm not fucking around, yeah, guys. I definitely didn't. Dude, yeah, <laughs> fucking middle school kids' lies. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the bet um, that actually the, the car thing i kept doing that into well into my 20s really yeah me and jake flores jake jake used to have this piece of shit ford focus and i had like a shitty 96 explorer and uh 
we would uh yeah, one time chris cubis another comic he had to like move yeah and so he's like asked me and jake to help him move and within 30 minutes of helping him move his stuff like one of us just dropped something and it broke yeah and then we were like ha 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 <laughs> and then we just started trashing all of his stuff <laughs> in his like former apartment we like took his bed frame and threw it through the wall and like chris didn't give it we were just drunk you know yeah. it was like the, it was like <laughs> noon we were trashed it was wednesday and we were doing like a bit we were like like this would be a funny sketch. It's called like quality movers. And they yeah. Just destroy everything, but there's no camera, so it's not a sketch. We're just <laughs> crashing, just destroying. We're just, yeah. And so he had this old computer monitor, and uh, we're like, I'm taking the thing over my head and throwing it at uh, you know the wall and shit, yeah. and smashing holes in the wall, and we're throwing it all over the the parking lot trying to smash this computer monitor but uh so crts those like cathode ray tubes yeah the screen is like an inch and a half of glass yeah those old computer monitors yeah, are yeah. thick as they're, fuck they're hard yeah. as shit to break but inside because the way those things work is it's this like gun that shoots electrons at the screen real fast and that's yeah. what makes it light up and you know it's like precise but so it's got to be a vacuum on the inside so when you finally break that screen, it fucking implodes. Oh, and it's shit. like a really cool thing to see. <laughs> so, you know, and I know that. So I was like, we got <laughs> I, I had been in that previous situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, guys, we got to destroy this thing. And we're trying all these ways to get it to smash and we can't do it. So eventually we took the, like just the cord to it and tied it to the back of Jake's car. <laughs> And then I was, like, riding it, and he was just driving it through the fucking parking lot, and I fell <laughs> off, and he's, like, going around corners and smashing it into, like, fire hydrants and shit. But, uh, yeah, no, we were, like, What if, What finally did it? Um, I think that did it. It, like, hit a curb, and it popped and shit, and it was kind of underwhelming. Chris had another TV. Chris had, like, a 36-inch CRT yeah. that we brought. We moved into our new, the one, the apartment me and Chris moved into. Yeah. With the intention of we're gonna fucking destroy this thing at some yeah. point, right, right. and I, there was one night I was drunk and I was like, either I'm buying PS4 or a shotgun from Cabela's, <laughs> so I can shoot this fucking TV. <laughs> and I ended up buying the PlayStation, which well, is still man. a waste of money. But uh, I don't know. I think the shotgun you would have done that. I would have killed like, myself. Yeah, I yeah. would have done the TV, <laughs> and then the next thing would have been, like, like, or you would have hit someone with a buckshot. Yeah. And been like, I don't know. Now you have to do a comedy benefit once a year for your friend that's in a wheelchair. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you decided to fucking, to play s fucking Sarah Connor and try to do a one-armed cock of a yeah, yeah, yeah. shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Which is the one that you spin? Oh, He's no, got the no way, shotgun. man. That's a repeater. <laughs> yeah, a repeater. You don't want a repeater. Yeah, yeah. Do the You'll fucking thing. blow your goddamn foot off. <laughs> Best case scenario. Yeah. Uh, nah, we had fun. That man. was, yeah. The Those stories of the fucking... I the alcoholism days are pretty hilarious. Yeah, uh, Austin. No, I want to start drinking again, just no. so I can make this, <laughs> this kind of decisions. Man, I got pulled over one time. I had to like fly back uh, to see my family for Christmas. So it was the day before Christmas Eve, and I went out to a bar with like Joe Stats, and I had like nine beers. <laughs> And I got me and Jake had fought the night prior to that, so I had like a giant black eye. <laughs> and I had nine beers, and then I took a beer. Somehow they just let me take a beer with oh, me cool. from the bar, nice. which is not, I don't yeah. know. So I'm driving, and Joe's trash too, and I'm like, I have like a tall boy <laughs> on my lap. And then I, I pass by this cop, and I'm like, immediately I'm like, fuck, shit, fuck, f your cop, fuck. And then the cop's following me, I'm like, shit. And then I like, there's a red light, and I like, pull halfway into it like while the light's still red. And I'm just, like, fucking up. I'm like, God damn it. And then Joe's like, just take a left here. Take a left here. And he's, like, you know, in my ear. And uh, light turns green. I turn left. I've turned left onto, like, a divided highway. So I'm, like, going the wrong way down the divided highway. And Joe's like, just jump the curb. Just jump the, just jump the curb. And I'm like, no. I'm like, no, man. I'm like, this, I'm fucked, you know? So I'm like, I'm going to jail, and I fucking just pull off in the first side street. I put my hazards on, and I'm like, I can't believe this, dude. I'm fucking. Wait, the cop light lit you? I pulled over first before he could light me because I had fucked up. So I put my emergencies on. I just pulled over, and I was waiting for him. And then you know, I, you know, I threw the hazards on. I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm fucking going to jail. But then the cop pulled up behind me and threw the hazards on. And then like somehow, he comes to the window. I'm like, I can't believe this shit. And I roll down the window, and the cop's like, hey, how you doing tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm real sorry about that. And then, like, me and Joe were just, we did, it. first of all, a lot of it is just white privilege. But, yeah. like, uh, you know, immediately I was like, yeah, I'm fuck, I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm driving him home. He's giving me directions, and he's fucking trashed, you know, or whatever. Yeah. 
and uh, Joe's like screaming already, you know, <laughs> he's like just hamming up how drunk he is or yeah, whatever. Yeah, cool. And I had, I had given the beer in Perfect. my lap to Joe beforehand. He just poured it on himself and crammed it under the seat. So the cop's like, OK, so you know why you're pulled out? I'm like, yeah, obviously I'm driving the wrong way down the thing. He's like, OK, uh, he's like, have you been drinking tonight? And I was like, I had like two beers, you know, um, I was like, I had one with like dinner and then another one, you know, just right before we left the bar. You know, but I'm not like drunk or anything. He's like, okay, well, can you get out of the car just so I can make sure all that smell is coming from him? I was like, yeah, sure. And then still in my head, I'm like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. And so the cop brings me around behind the car and he's like, just hang tight for a second. And then he like talks. This girl just beats the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to whoop your drunkard friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they talk to Joe, and they come back over to me, and the cop looked just like David Bowie. Oh, weird. <laughs> he looked like a butt, like a jack David yeah. Bowie. Yeah, yeah, Like a cop David He's Bowie. He's like Major Tom the Grand yeah, Control. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a couple of black guys <laughs> wandering around the back of the bank. <laughs> Young Americans. They were black, and they were driving. <laughs> yeah. And they deserved it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so this cop looked just like David Bowie and like drunk part of my mind is like, tell him he looks like David Bowie. Oh, he'll think that's, man. he'll think that's like, cool. You'll ingratiate yourself to the cop. He's going to be like, oh, for real, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, I love Thanks, the star dude. child. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily I didn't, you know, he was like, okay, like a, you know, I do smell alcohol. He's like, you only had two drinks. And he's like, are you telling the truth? And I was like, yeah, it was two. It was like one with dinner and then one just now. He's like, okay. He's like, I do smell a little alcohol in your breath. I don't think you're lying to me. You know, if you'd said you hadn't been drinking, then we'd have a fucking issue. But, you know, he's like, uh, I'm going to let it slide. So <sighs> he's like, um, what you want to do? And he, like, brings me back to my car. And he's like, you just go around here, you know, uh, take a right. And then, you know, make sure you get on the right side of the road, you know, coming around. I'm like, all right, thanks. You know, and then he um, I'm like just sitting there with Joe. I'm like, holy fucking shit. I can't believe that worked. And as I saying that, the cop was like, <laughs> He was back at the window. He's like, yeah, you forgot your ID. You know? Oh. And I was like, thanks, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I really have no idea how I got out of that one. Holy fuck. Yeah. I was, uh, when I was 16 or 17, we did mushrooms. Yeah. Me and my buddy did mushrooms and we ran out of cigarettes. We just ate the mushrooms. We were like, we're going to need cigarettes because when you trip, when I used to trip in high school, I used to love to smoke like two packs. <laughs> Uh, you must have been cool as hell. Is that oh, dude, I was so much sk- pussy. Actually, I wasn't. <laughs> I had sex once in high school. And that dude. was it. But um, nice, dude. Dry fucked a lot. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I came in my pants a lot. We we figured that out. That's I, what first base is. <laughs> it's a walk. If you come in your pants. Oh yeah, I walked. <laughs> it's a, a walk. Yeah, yeah. I walked yeah. a lot. Um, I didn't fuck at all. But we uh, so we ate um, we both ate an eighth of mushrooms. Mm-hmm. But I ate mine first. Like probably 30 minutes before he did and mm-hmm. i ate it and then he came over and ate his and i was like yo we gotta get cigarettes and he's like all right but I, his mom dropped him off he's mm-hmm. like i don't have a car i was like drive my car drive my car we'll go get we'll go get cigarettes he's like all right so we're taking like this back way yeah something something and i'm like oh, i'll take it right here and he runs a red light like barely runs a red light fucking cop right behind us we're like fuck pull us over that's how I knew the mushrooms started working because the red and blue lights uh, yeah. on the inside of my car. And this is like dusk. So it's just starting to get dark. And it's like uh, they were like hitting each other. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, he's like freaking out. My, my buddy Mike's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Right. And I'm like, just wait. So it's, it's a, a lady police officer comes to the, to the door. I'm like, miss uh, officer. I'm so sorry. This is my car. I'm planning on drinking tonight. And so I wanted my friend to drive it just so I could make sure when I was sober that he could. And I was just like mushroom talking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Can I see both of your licenses? And I was like, yeah. And we both give her our license. And she's yeah. like, okay. And then goes back and we're melting down. Mike yeah. and I are oh, melting Christ. down. I'm like, dude, I can't go to jail on fucking mushrooms. I'm going <laughs> to fucking die in there. I can't yeah. do it. And he's like, dude, it'll be all right, man. I don't know. Like, I'm going to, they're going to take my license. Like, she better not look at my pupils. We're waiting for like five minutes. And it's starting to get fucking pretty. Like, are they, what are they doing? Are they calling for backup? Right, right. Yeah, you yeah. just don't know. Yeah, you just yeah, don't yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. And she comes back and she just hands us both of our licenses. And she goes, 
you boys are having the luckiest day of your life. There was a shooting that we need to report to, so you guys are good to go. And Get like, out of here. Uh, yeah. Like, he drove away, and I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm so glad that four-year-old got shot today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, apparently, there was something at the Batman movie. You're like, yeah. <laughs> Ding. Uh, uh, Aurora, yeah. baby. A town. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's known for. Yeah. It's James Holmes. Yeah, James Holmes, who's, by the way, not even from Aurora. He's from San Diego. Oh, oh, why was he yeah. there? Just for the shooting? You would uh, rather? No. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it was a really nice shooting theater. Yeah. He's like, I heard the acoustics is awesome. <laughs> yeah. The bounce off of a sawed off. <laughs> really. I want to do my live album. You ever see Aurora. those? You ever see those uh, those theater chains that are? Uh, it's like I think they're called Tinsel Town, and they yeah, got this like stupid. Great. They have them in Texas. These like ridiculous movie theaters with this fucking. You know, I like yeah. to think of it like shooters do shootings like they're doing an album. Yeah. They're like, where are you going to do your mass shooting? He's like, <laughs> yeah. ah, I was thinking about Santa Barbara. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like that's hack. Uh, yeah. I want to do Colorado. Like, there are a lot of good shootings there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I know. St- you know, it's like Columbine's the classic. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah. How am I going to do Columbine? Yeah. I don't Dude, know. But it's what not you about do? doing it. It's about doing your own thing with it. It's like <laughs> playing with it, you know? Maybe dress up like the Joker. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. what's so funny. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could not. <laughs> stop laughing at that when what? <laughs> when well the joker thing that you know yeah. the shooting happened and it's like yeah he he thought he was the joker <laughs> yeah, but, that's, <laughs> but that's also that shows you he's he uh so he was a med student at the university of colorado and the university of colorado built two hospitals in aurora to kind of yeah. like build up aurora because mm-hmm. aurora is like a it's a dilapidated suburb a little methy you uh you not really it's just kind of it's like you know Middle class. It's the okay. evaporating middle gotcha, class. Gotcha, 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 the lower gotcha. middle. It's which. It's is like. Um, have you ever seen the movie Suburbia with Flea? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's this like early eighties. Like it's in the same vein as um, like uh, River's Edge. If okay. You've ever seen River's Edge? Yeah. But yeah, it's got Flea in it when he's sixteen. It's okay. Just these like really? punks in suburbia. Yeah, that's basically. What but it's, it's like. all worn down. Like all the houses are vacant and shit. Yeah, they're not like yeah, close to vacant. Like now, it's not what it used to be, type of thing. It, you could tell it was super nice in the seventies. Right, 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 right. All the architecture, you're like, this was really nice in the seventies. Right. That's weird yeah. about like, li- we all live in New York, like big cities. You watch, like I've watched all these old buildings come down and new buildings go up. And they try to update it, but suburbia motherfuckers just keep, especially in Colorado, they just keep moving where there's n- untouched land. Right. Yeah. They're right. Like, oh, we'll just build. So you can actually see the decades. Right, right. Yeah, especially right, right. in Aurora, where you're like, oh, this was big in the 80s. This right. was nice in the 90s. This was nice in the early 2000s. And now it's like, you know, the McMansions. Oh, so it's yeah. like starting to move out. So, uh, so the University of Colorado brought in hospitals to like stimulate the economy of Aurora. And James Holmes was like a medical student there. And he was, I think he was either schizophrenic or bipolar, mm-hmm. but he was off his meds. He actually, he's an agent of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> he really identified. What if he was the Joker the entire time? We're like, ah, this guy. They should get him for the new movie. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> let him out of jail because, like, to be honest, he was the best Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Heath Ledger was good, but like James Holmes was. I'm the still best. sticking Nicholson. Nicholson. Yeah. Nicholson's like, I want to go meet the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see how he <laughs> did his role. Be, if a guy shot up the movie theater acting like Jack Nicholson, you <laughs> <laughs> thought he was Jack Nicholson. Yeah, yeah. 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 God damn it, chief! I'm gonna kill all of them. <laughs> Yeah. Why don't we broaden our horizons? <laughs> Lawrence? <laughs> Are you playing Bat Dance? Carol the Waitress meets yeah. Simon the Fag. <laughs> he's playing Bat Dance while he's shooting them. He's got his own boombox. <laughs> Lawrence? <laughs> That's what all they hear before he starts getting shot up. <laughs> Party man! A new man in town! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was like uh, that was that was super fucked up. So I I gotta make I gotta make good to bring oh, Aurora yeah, yeah, back yeah, into the yeah. spotlight. Yeah, dude, and you're doing it. You're killing it right now. You <laughs> yeah. just had the special drop. You did album that. drop, album special drop, drop, special drop, and you're on um, the award winning Paul Giamatti show. It hasn't won any awards. Oh well, well I, I mean, hope it does. I just I th- I just thought that was just a thing you say about things. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize. I, I didn't no, you don't think those are you don't realize those are based it's on actual some things. Kind yeah, of, yeah. Some kind of independent spirit award or something. Yeah, you got to have. And if That'd be cool. Pa- Paul Giamatti is an award in and of itself. Yeah, he's he's like yeah. a little trophy. I've won the Paul Giamatti, which is a handshake Dan. from Paul Giamatti. 
Good to see you, Dan. Good to see you, Marty. I don't like this. Dan, how's it going? Dude, he's just an asthmatic nerd. <laughs> I'll tell you. I am always about to have a heart attack. That's, yeah, that's it's almost a Marty. Richard Nixon meets Paul Giamatti. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He, um, I'll tell you why I like him so much. Yeah. Besides him being a super nice guy, at the premiere, Judah Freelander was there, and Paul was saying hello to everybody. Then he saw Judah and lit up. He was like, yeah, Judah! Yeah. And I was like, anybody that likes Judah Freelander that much, yeah, I'm way on board with. That's great. Any fa- any famous person, any super He's a famous. litmus test. Alec Baldwin and Paul Giamatti. Oh, yeah. Alec, ba- Alec Baldwin is a guy. Do you know Phil Burke, the kid that does, uh, he does like mics and shows around New okay. York. But he did some bar show on the Lower East Side, and Alec Baldwin was there. And he's like, I want to make you famous. He said that? Yeah. And he's like, he gave, he gave him his like <laughs> agent's it. info. And like, Phil was like beaming. He came to Cabin afterwards. He's like, yeah, I can't believe it. And uh, he's still just doing mics. And he's, he's just never heard yeah, from Two years Alec later, Baldwin. nothing happened. I did, a, I did a movie with Alec Baldwin, and I got a picture. And that's nice. all I wanted. Yeah. That's great. I don't do pictures, ever. You never ask for pictures? Well, because they're celebrities. They, I, they make me look like shit. Why would I want a really shitty picture of me? You know why I wanted a picture with him? Because he was so nice. I was going through a breakup, and he he just sat there and talked to me about yeah. it. He's really? Such a dick. Dude, we get out of here. We ate a plate of French fries and we, gossiped was, about girls. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah. Wow. How have you not told this story before? Yeah. I, mean, I can't it. was awesome. It. He like sat there. He's like, "She wasn't for you." <laughs> <laughs> He'd say stuff like that. Where he goes, "I'm telling you, someone got in your ear." <laughs> Dude, how much more does advice from Alec Baldwin land than from like even your best friends? My your best friends could tell you. My something. dead father could come back, <laughs> and it wouldn't be as much as Alec Baldwin. <laughs> By the way, talking about it, here's the weird thing. He was talking. He was like, you know, I went through a. He's like, I went through a tough divorce in 2000. I want to be like, yeah, Kim Basinger. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. all know about it. <laughs> Everybody knows about. You that called too. your daughter a rude pig, also. We rude boy. <laughs> you called your daughter a rude boy. <laughs> yeah, be real, yeah, me, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was so crazy that he was just like, "Here's what I'm gonna tell you: Don't get married before 35." He like just told me all this <laughs> awesome stuff, and I was like, "Yes, Alec thank Baldwin. you, Alec." Well, I feel like that applies if you're Alec Baldwin, because Alec Baldwin at 35 was right ar- around when he started, you know, swelling. You know, <laughs> like he became like a very. Oh, you're saying when he was like physically. super handsome, dude. He, he oh yeah, he used to be a beautiful man, and then something happened. Where he's, he's still a good looking older he's still man. Good, oh, he's looking. killing it for. He's good you know, looking, but he, yeah, he has that thing where like some guys just start to expand. They never get fat; they just take up more space. <laughs> right. Yeah, it looks like they're taking on water. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Is there a but leak? The way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, the way a corpse pin. does. It's yeah. like Alec Baldwin like was on some boat that disappeared, and then he washed up on the shore. Six months later. Are you a gypsy curse? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you almost enslaved by pirates, by Hong Kong pirates? <laughs> Hong, Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong pirates. Yeah. We are not African pirates. We are Hong yeah. Kong pirates. Listen to me. Listen. I, do, I am not African pirate. Pirate. <laughs> I'm Hong Kong pirate. I live oh, with Hong those Kong. people. I live with all Hong Kong pirates. <laughs> this is a dumb thing. You call Chinese people? Yeah. yeah. Hong Kong what pirates. a great name. What a great yeah. name. Well, oh, me and my Hong Kong pirate. <laughs> yeah. The grandmother doesn't speak any English at all. So Does I she mean, like you? I could call her Hong Kong pirate. I don't know. That's also so, a great band name. Yeah. Hong Kong pirates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. yeah. And then I have to open every show with. <laughs> One, two, three, four. They got a hype man that just plays the gong. I think I'm too big up in these. The beginning mm-hmm. and That's the show, so woke. Yeah, I can't tell if yeah. she likes me or not. <laughs> I love being woke. Th- nothing on this podcast is woke. We don't do any kind We're of. We're the anti woke podcast. Yeah, <laughs> you should no. call it the asleep podcast. Yeah, yeah. my girlfriend, the sleepy boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleepy boys. <laughs> we ain't woke. We ain't never gonna be woke, bitch. Yeah, yeah. We're sleepy boys. I'm on Xanax. I'm using slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Tell slur. Sl- I'm on it. The guy, your boy, on Ambien. Telling stories about white privilege <laughs> get me out of conflicts with the police. <laughs> but I. I'm acting like it's intelligence. You know what I hate is wiggers. I can't explain why, but there's something about them that pisses me off, just, man. Just why would you? They're just Sleepy traitors. Boys. I see them as traitors. Yeah, they're Sleepy traitors. Boys. <laughs> Sleepy boys. Sleepy boys. Uh, yeah, no, I can't tell if the if the Chinese people I live with like me or not because the language is so harsh <laughs> that like you know, like I love you in Chinese is like bang out. Yeah. <laughs> Think about. He say he rip your face off. <laughs> oh, but it was so tender. Oh, no, very no tender. 
<laughs> he say he no like you <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> he find you to be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, no one outworks immigrants. Like yeah. you live with an immigrant, if you live near immigrants, you yeah, just, uh, you're like that guy works. Oh yeah, they, like I remember this dishwasher I worked with yeah. at the restaurant. Uh, he was from Ghana. His name was Lasaw, and he wouldn't sleep. Yeah. He was this African dude, and he would, like, always brag that he never slept. I'd yeah. be like, Lasana, where do you sleep? He'd be like, I, do, I go to a park, and I lay down for 10 minutes on yeah. the bench. <laughs> I, I go to my next job, and yeah. then I come here. I was like, oh, my God, I got six, and I am beat. For, <laughs> yeah. for energy, I crush spider in yeah. bowl and yeah. drink blood. I don't know if you know this, yeah. but I take the vapor from the dish machine <laughs> and it gives me power <laughs> i'm like a locomotive yeah i am steam engine <laughs> i burn it it's just he only gets tired when he can't find albinos to eat yeah <laughs> to kill i consume the whitest people <laughs> in order for me to be the king <laughs> i'm the king yeah no it's because immigrants don't know about happiness yet it's yeah their, it's always their, i'm the shitty yeah. kid i think it's i don't think it's happiness as much as uh, immigrants don't think they're worth uh well, they, or they don't feel entitled to uh, being uncomfortable they don't feel entitled and it's also like if they're a straight up immigrant like less of the culture is really for them or accessible like what what is the old Chinese grandmother I live with gonna do this weekend go see the new teenage mutant ninja turtles movie? Yeah, maybe. she's gonna go see lady ghostbusters <laughs> yeah that's not gonna happen I don't she's think it's called, lady <laughs> yeah. it's called lady ghostbusters it's called lady ghostbusters it's not a fucking it's called, it's called hey it's called miss ghostbusters yeah miss <laughs> ghostbusters, <laughs> miss ghostbusters. <laughs> sorry, sorry I got ghostbusters pronouns wrong yeah. it's okay yeah. don't worry it's the sleepy boys yeah so you don't have to be woke yeah um but also, it's that thing of, like, I think even children of immigrants in an American thing is you think you have the right to not be uncomfortable. So when you're uncomfortable, mm. you're like, I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Right, and right, you take right. that as, like, pain. What? Where, like, immigrants work, like, immigrants work, like, 100 hours and their hands are bleeding yeah, from yeah, their yeah. being dry. And they're like, well, that's not pain. That's yeah. uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's funny because, I mean, I, I live in a tenement with these this Chinese family. Yeah. And it's close quarters and the hot water's off all the time and they have no recourse. They can't. I mean, I've complained to 311. It does nothing. And they just have to live like that. They do all their laundry in the fucking shower and they live off pennies. And, uh,. <laughs> So when you plan on moving out? Well, that's the thing is, like, I'll tell people about it. And, like, I, even Ari was like, yeah, human beings aren't supposed to live like that. And it's yeah. like, but referring to me, I'm like, no, plenty do. Plenty, <laughs> right, right, plenty right, of them right, do, right. and they're it's fine with how it. I like, how do, you do, how do you do that? And it's like, well, I mean, the Chinese do it. And they're like, yeah, but, then, you know, they're yeah. different somehow. <laughs> they're <laughs> not people. And, you know, it's funny. I love, because uh, it's on the Lower East Side. Is there's all these like you know people like tourists will come and they'll go to the tenement museum and go on walking <laughs> tours of the Lower East Side and they'll be like walking past Chinese families that live in the Lower East Side and they're like, yeah, can you believe how hard um, immigrants used to struggle in this neighborhood? But I mean, like like the good kind of immigrants, yeah. <laughs> not no. the kind that had the yeah. soupy language that right. we don't understand. Like you know the suspender mustache guys, the organ grinders, <laughs> the kind of immigrants who like to romanticize. Not Remember the guys who used to wear. Paperboy hats? Yeah. <laughs> Not the ones that spend all their time squatting and smoking illegal cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's contaminated with fucking Chernobyl radiation. Yeah. Russian old Moscow yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Not those kind of immigrants. Boiling chicken hearts? Yeah. <laughs> nah, but they do it. And I mean, I, I actually like have a lot of respect for them. Um, yeah. Yeah, and they've been like super cool. They, they, uh, they kind of almost like my heart melted when the FBI came to my apartment yeah. looking for me. And I wasn't there. And the fucking dad was like... Even if they come back, we tell them we don't know you. Yeah. And you're like, like, are you my new dad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had no he had no clothes on when he said that too. He was wearing his boxers, he eating fish eyes off a plate with chopsticks. And he's like, uh, yeah, we tell them we don't know you. It's okay, it don't matter. I tell them, fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't oh, cool don't with me. Police. We call transporter, send you to Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah. we, get we get transporter to bring you back to Hong Kong. Open, open hard by your Chinese family. <laughs> 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 is your name Nicholas Mullen? <laughs> well, here's the deal. I've got about 15 minutes to put you in the back of this BMW before half the triads and the FBI come looking for both of us. So get in right now. Yo. Hi, I'm the transporter. <laughs> we call transporter! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, transporter! Transporter! Uh, okay. uh, I see him right there. The, <laughs> casu the casual conversation. How you doing, Ling? Yeah, I'll come pick up your boy. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, HK. 
<laughs> nice. Hope you don't run into Hong Kong pirates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a trailer for the movie Callback with Jason Statham. Yeah. It's just all callbacks. Yeah, yeah. Something no, I didn't Jason get from S- SNL. How, how does Jason Statham not have a podcast? That would be the number one celebrity podcast. That well, would immediately be... Jason beat. Statham puts together IKEA furniture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a frustrating podcast. <laughs> You're listening goes. to What the Fuck with Jason Statham. <laughs> I listen. I just go through the newspaper and go, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, hey, look, Donald Trump ahead again. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Speaking of Donald Trump and British guys, I saw Jeff Leach <laughs> at Stand Up oh, New York the other night, and uh, he was doing a bit, and his rings fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Did he disappear? No, no, no. It <laughs> was just it was so funny though. He just he waved his were off. <laughs> he waved yeah. He waved his uh, he waved his hand, and all of the rings came off, and then went into the what's audience. What's your What's your policy on accessories for comedians? Uh, it's Harsh a, anti. It's it's yeah. It's it counts as a prop. Yeah, and a prop that you don't. If you have a leather there. band on your wrist, you gotta go, yeah. buddy. I will, I'm doing? gonna gun for you to chop your arm off. <laughs> yeah. We should have machetes. <laughs> yeah. Shria law. <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, my friend Ruby was telling this story one time. She was, she was like, "Yeah, when I started comedy, I like would always have to have my sunglasses on my head because I wanted to be like that's the girl with the sunglasses on her head comic." Oh. And I was like, "That doesn't that, make that's any not sense." How that works. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> yeah, <it's not> like, <laughs> You're not yeah. a Smurf. Yeah. You're a fucking comedian. Yeah, you're not a tertiary Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're a fucking... Sunglass Smurf. Yeah. Only... <laughs> That's how they notice me. I'm a sunglass Smurf. <laughs> Yo, fuck boys. I got to get going. No All right. Worries, uh, yeah, no, normally we do like a break, but that um, that was like, that's enough time. Nah, I we think, went, yeah. Yeah, you got to um, go do... Filled uh, yeah, yeah, the quota? Yeah, filled the quota. You got to go do a show that, I forgot about. That one went well, I yeah, think. that was a good one. Dude, we not came too up with Jason Statham's podcast. That's hilarious. <laughs> that yeah. I feel like that was good. I don't think we let any of the listeners down. No. Um, we also created a better name for Come Town, the Sleepy Boys. Sleepy Boys. Yeah, Sleepy it's Boys. That would be yeah, the um, the Umwo crew. Um, I'm telling you, you could change it now. You're still in the game. No, I'm not changing it. Do you it's, know how much time I spent he... on that logo? It looks exactly like Come. If you zoom <laughs> in on it, the logo? Yeah, dude, it, there's you. a cloudiness to it. I like <laughs> design. There's like four different layers. Not only is it like embossed, but in different areas, it's lumpier. This, <laughs> so, this is how Dan, you know, Dan's a good friend. He's trying to gently push us to change it. He's not going to say... Yeah. Don't he's not gonna say straight up change it. It's stupid to have a podcast with the word come in it. He's like, oh, we got a better one. I yeah, think it's smart. I think it's a smart thing to do. <laughs> I don't. Like how mad Nick is. Yeah, but I think you're not gonna get people that want to hear this. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna want to hear people talking about come or fucking. <laughs> Uh, we're number twenty five on the comedy charts. <laughs> oh. Two episodes. <laughs> so I'm not even on the charts. My album is out though. Go to iTunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, let, uh, let's plug all the Dan stuff because Dan's great. Uh, one of the best comics working. Thanks, uh, absolutely. Yeah, no. At I'm, Dan Soder on Twitter and Instagram, and go buy my album, not special on iTunes. Yeah, and check out the new special on Comedy Central or you Thanks. know. Yeah, you I think it's it. on like. When this comes out, you'll be able to download it on iTunes or the Comedy Central app. Yeah, yeah I mean, I've been cool. like a huge fan of yours since we did that South by. Thanks, man. That's when I met the girl in my always... dreams who has a boyfriend, and I think she's married. Oh, the one with the nice juice that I yeah. said I run. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's how we end on a come note. But yeah, thanks for coming, dude. Yeah. Thanks for doing it. Hey. So much better than Adam. <laughs> hey, I like that. <laughs> <Just reiterate. laughs> All right, goodbye, folks. Thanks, come boys. What's up? What the what the faggots? Uh, come town four. This is uh, th- this American come. This American come. This is the big. This is the big one, dude. Oh, I know yeah. I said the last one was big, but this one's even bigger than the last this one. Is huge. This is a plus size. This is an Ashley Graham size podcast, BBW, dude. This is yeah. two, two dope comes. Uh, <laughs> two dope comes on Radio W come. Uh, W come Y come W come Y C W C U M. Hey, this is okay. Um, so let's introduce ourselves, Nick. Yeah, Nick, uh, aka the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. We got Stav, aka hey. the Puerto Rican rattlesnake, and Adam, of course. What's up, Puerto Rican rattlesnake? Adam Friedland. What's going on? Yeah, everyone? we're the yeah. Puerto Rican rattlesnakes of comedy. <laughs> Uh, it's nice to uh, nice to have Adam back. Yeah, yeah, dude. great. Um, yeah. Yes, it's great to have you back, Dan. Uh, was, thanks, guys. Yeah, it feels great to be. Here. <laughs> it was it was cool having a guest, but Dan really kind of stunk. Yeah, Dan uh, wasn't as good as you, buddy. Yeah, that's how we feel for uh, sure. Yeah, we were like Wait, saying, can, "What's that?" Can I be real for a second on the podcast? I like. Uh, I of course, this is a one hundred percent real. I know zone. that we're this like joking around, talk. like. 
All right, you guys, like, I think poo-pooed on me a little bit on that last episode. No. No, he didn't. What are you talking about? Dude, I got texts from people. They were like, first of all, you lied to us about being the host of Come Down. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, your boys are roasting you, dude. Dude, you I don't You guys were so. flat-hand Brandon Wardell roasting me on the pod, and I wasn't even on That's it. That's not true. That's I wasn't even on it to defend myself. I don't know who told you that, but they're a fucking yeah, liar. Yeah, who was that? Name names, dude. I mean, they're friends of mine. People well, that listen to the podcast. They're lying, dude. We didn't say a negative word about you. We're glad that you're back. Dude, we... it's on. Okay, first of all, it's a podcast. It's recorded. You can check it. Like You can like look it up. What like, did we say then, bitch? Yeah, we didn't say anything. You said that I ruined the podcast and that I'd never be on no, it again. No, never. Maybe in private conversation, I've like maybe offered constructive criticism about your behavior. Look, you dude, never gave me constructive criticism. Yeah, you I've just shit on me when I wasn't on no, the No, I've said it a couple of times. Look, you need to understand that when you come in here to the Anthony Cumia Studio, at the top of the Empire State Building. This is the eagle's nest of podcasting, okay? The don't, stakes are higher. Don't, don't put this, P, like, make me out to be a PC, pussy-ass bitch. Don't make that's this all you about your political bullshit that's where you're you mad are, at. Bitch. No, no, that's bullshit, This is bullshit, an alpha dude. male podcast. This is about, this this is is about no, males. this is about friends that started comedy together that are trying to fucking do a podcast together and not shitting on each other. They're shitting on everyone shit. else. We, like, didn't sh- we didn't shit on you. Okay. Dude, nobody, relax. Nobody relax. shit on you. I'm I can't hot. Even... I'm hot right now. And it's not... I just... I would expect... Dude, you're about to get banned. I honestly. can't... Yeah. I can't believe you would even do this. Don't ban... You would accuse me of these things. Okay. Get Dan back. Especially Dan me. Back. <laughs> considering I'm... The, I bought all the shit. I'm... Everyone That's knows true. I'm the gear... I'm the gear guy of the crew. I'm the one that makes all this shit happen, and you're going to say that I did something to sully our friendship. Dude, I had... Um, when I'm, I went to B&H Photo, and I had to deal with those, that... You know who Wretched owns that place. You know who owns that place. I know place. who the fuck owns that place. You know Continue that sentence. I don't like Continue them. that sentence. Well, I'm not what going to. What kind of person? I'm not dealing with Just that. Just say you know what, what kind of person. Guys, you know what? Relax. If you don't like the way the pie... I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No. I'm going. Nick, come on. I'm done. Nick, don't be a... I'm, I'm leaving. Uh, Let's I'm just gonna, talk I'm it out. Part of a podcast, we're going to be accused of, of being. Some Dude, this is why we got a pat. This Stop. is why we got a pod. Because uh, if we have beef, you work I'm it out on the pod. No, if you have beef, you work it out on the pod. Adam, shut up, dude. Come on, dude. That's what pods are for. They're for working out beef, dude. This sucks. What dude, you fuck? got beef, you bring it to the pod. This isn't married. Dude, Nick is a shit. bitch, dude. He just left his podcast equipment here. Look, we have to do this. We have to finish this podcast. We take over. I am now the host of. Dude, Cumbtown. tell him to come back. Shut up. Shut up. All right, I'm the host now. All right, all right, all right. I'm the host of Come Town, everyone. Hello, welcome to Come Town. It's now a Nick Mullinless podcast. Because uh, he's a this Nick, is pff, Adam. Okay, sorry. You know what? This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work with two people. I can't do it with you, man. I just don't think you have. Uh, Dude, you have we're what better there. off without Nick. Look, let's be honest. Let's just open the door, okay, to the Anthony Cumia Studios. The top Dude, of you the want Nick? Just, just open the door, and whoever's hanging out. We'll let them be our third co Dude, if you want Nick, you can... Hey, hey, it's me, Nick Mullen. Diarrhea, diaper, uh, diaper rash, diarrhea. My diaper has autism. Stop it, all right? Save I'm, it. I'm Nick Mullen. You I, need a my, third. <laughs> I'm not going to have you roast my good friend, Nick. All right. I would never... Excuse me, is this the Jew? Oh, my Asrian? God. Oh, oh my God. Look who we have here. Oh, oh my God. Who, who are you? Oh, hey, is this? Hey, Seth. Seth Dickfield. Seth Dickfield. Oh, oh me, hey, buddy. hello, boys. Wow. How are you? Oh, you yeah, have a seat. This is a great wow. time of the year. Because actually, Nick, who you know, you know Nick. Oh, Moore. I hate that guy. Well, you oh, know. is He's not here, is he's he? He's my good friend. This is, it's actually, I won't have you sully his name, but he actually just left. And we're looking for a third co-host, and it looks like you're the third co-host oh, of Come Oh, boy. Town. Oh, I despise him. This is actually him. pretty amazing how every time Seth Dickfield is here, it's like a Peter Parker kind of Spider-Man kind I of thing. I don't know what you're getting at at all. I don't know. Okay. Um, um, that's crazy. Well, I'm here now, and I tell you what, I love podcasting. <laughs> that's great, I buddy. love it. I love, this, I love talking Seth, into dude. the microphone. What, go Shoot. Shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm all yours. It's good to have someone... Like I am okay. I don't want to talk shit on Nick while he's not here. Like he talked shit on me last week. But like, don't talk shit about my friend. Go ahead. It's just his politics get kind of exhausting. Oh, I'm so mad at this PC. I'm so mad at this. You know, that's the worst part about him. I'm one hundred percent. That's what I like about Seth Dick. You know, uh, when I hear PC, what I think in my mind is not politically correct, but pretty cool. (laughs) That's how I think. I yeah, I'm proud to be PC, a pretty cool guy. Yeah. 
So uh, <laughs> last time you were here, you were talking about Lady Ghostbusters. Oh, I saw it. I got it on uh, Torrent, but I donated money to Rain, <laughs> uh, the ticket price for the movie. So women that are raped will get the money for the Lady <laughs> Ghostbusters, which I illegally <laughs> downloaded at my, wow. to watch okay. at my girlfriend's apartment. <laughs> That's and, great. And... Uh, uh, it was great. Uh, I just, fan. you know, I mean, I only watched the first five minutes, and then I had to, you is know. Is it true that they uh, that they vacuum them up into their pussies? Uh, <laughs> is that how they vacuum the ghosts? That's one hundred percent true. <laughs> uh, that's how exactly <laughs> how the movie goes. That's good. It's natural, you know. Uh, you know, and uh, what I was more afraid of than the ghosts while watching the movie was uh, the men in the film. Oh yeah. Because you know, what's what is a ghost going to do? You know, maybe That's scare true. you a little bit. A man, uh, well, he's going to do the wage gap. <laughs> he's going to do the wage gap at you. So he's true. not going to pay you no, as much money. That that's is true. so fucking And true. I, I just heard, don't think that's fair. I heard you know, it is kind of messed up that the four female protagonists of the new Ghostbusters earn the least amount of money out of any actors on that film. That's oh, yeah. true. And that the original true. Ghostbusters were around in the 80s. Yeah. And so even adjusting for inflation, they made way more money. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And the female Ghostbusters had to do so much more work considering the increase of ghosts in New York since 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you, uh, so Seth, could you actually, like, you know, I, d I don't know if this is cool or not for a podcast, but could you give us a couple, like, good bits, like, that from the Ghostbusters movie, like, a couple lines that you remember? The girl, uh, the girl uh, Ghostbusters one? No, I actually don't remember any of the lines from the movie. I put the film on, and then I looked in the mirror, and I pat myself on the back <laughs> for the next two hours, and I kept saying, good for you. Good for you, <laughs> Seth. Don't let, those, don't let those bad guys on Reddit tell you what you can or cannot enjoy. Are you looking forward to anything else? It sounded you asked, it sounded like you asked if this was the Juno Diaz reading. Um, oh, by the way, Seth, do you want snacks or something? Like... Yeah, we have actually we have like uh, chocolate. Oh, like is these M and M's? &Ms? Oh, these are M and M's. Yeah, they're, they're these are regular M and M's. Oh, these are peanut M and M's. No, no, no yeah. they're regular M and M's. No, they're. Oh, peanuts. I had some earlier. I can't have peanuts. Oh uh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> these are definitely peanut M and M's. Oh yeah, no, you. Oh no, I'm allergic to literally everything. Oh jeez. Uh, oh, uh, how are you? Are you I, got, like I don't feel so good. I have to go get help. I'm gonna go look for help. I'm uh, sorry. Someone has to stay here with me. I'll well, stay here with you, but like, do you? What, do you have like an EpiPen or do you have like I something? Don't, I don't have anything. I just need to, people to tell me I'm a victim until I feel better. <laughs> Please console me. Please, someone tell me how much of a victim I am. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're allergic to peanuts, we, we need to get oh, like God, some medical my, professionals I feel my here. throat's closing up. I feel, do you have I like feel an like emergency I'm being persecuted. Contact? I feel, oh, yes, it's in my wallet. Here, call my... Oh, I hate him so much, but uh, please call my cousin. Okay. What's Baltimore your cousin? comedian R Ralph Horowski. Okay, he, I'm calling him right now. Bring, bring. Yo. Yo. Oh, yo, Ralph. This what is, the fuck is this shit, yo? Ralph, why, it's yo, me. Why y'all fucking wake me up, yo? Wow, Ralph, how, you just showed up here? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I was just in the other room taking a shit, yo. <laughs> Anthony Kumia is my idol, yo. <laughs> I love the way he be treating them blacks on Twitter, yo. Dude. He got a real way about himself. Okay, so let's clear yeah, things up right now. What the hell are y'all up to, yo? I just had a peanut, and I think I'm dying. Oh, my God, this about is, fucking Tom, yo. Ralph, you are... Yeah. A Baltimore comedian. Yeah. And you're also cousins with Seth? Yeah, Seth, Seth Dickfield is my Jew cousin. Well, we <laughs> call him that. He ain't no Jew, actually, bloodline-wise, but we don't trust him because he wear glasses and he be, doing, he be uh, eating bagels sometimes. He's just a Jew as style. He does it as yeah, style. Yeah, and honestly, that's even worse the way I look at it, yeah, <laughs> to, have, to, be, to choose that type of lifestyle. I can't, you know, my outrage has cured me of my peanut allergy. <laughs> I can't believe you're saying Seth, these I'm things. Seth, Seth, you're yeah. back. <laughs> you're back. You're I'm all, back. I'm off the live. ropes, and I've had enough of this bullying from my, yeah, you from my, my ethnic white cousin so so ralph do you find yourself in this sort of a similar political bent to yo, uh, first of all yo i don't be doing no politics yo i'm a moderate yo <laughs> that's i'm on both so i see the i see the good on both sides you know what i mean like i say i say honestly yo you want to get abortions yo do that because who trying to wear condoms i ain't trying to wear no condoms yeah so you get them abortions going but you trying to be present after you had an abortion? No, thank you, yo. <laughs> you cannot be doing that shit. Like, yo, get them shits. But you can't be hold the public office after you got an abortion, after you fucking killed a beautiful wow. ass baby, yo. Wow. That baby could have played third base for the fucking Orioles, yo. 
I know, first of all, sports should be illegal. Second of <laughs> oh all, my God. all Take it back. never. The uh, A's, never. A's, Ravens. Ray Rice was framed. My other cousin worked at that elevator, and he ain't seen none of that shit go down, oh. yo. Y'all ain't see the real tapes, yo. There should be a statue of every one of Ray Rice's victims. Sports should be illegal yo. except for lady soccer. Shut up, yo. Wow. Don't, don't, wow. I'm being victimized. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> you know, for, yo, every time Seth be talking when we was growing up, we would just molest him, yo, Ralph. until he shut up. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Yeah? What? All right. I'm about to molest you, yo. I this don't like is, the way okay. you be looking at me. Listen, with them I'm the on only you. host. I'm the only host left of Come Town right now, and I feel like a responsibility. <laughs> yeah. well, how about is this? Some reason you need to go for I some responsibility. Like Nobody likes the word "come" anyways. Yeah, well, I it's, love come. It was a bad podcast. That's, we're doing a new podcast okay, I now. I just like that for I, real comedians. Oh, wait a second. Is this? Am I on this podcast yet? Yeah, yeah you're on you our podcast. On this right podcast? Now. Oh, my bad, yo. What y'all need me to do, yo? Okay, so Ralph, I'm just. The, uh, oh, okay. I, I'd like I you to be respectful. I'd like you to respect your cousin, even if fuck him, yeah. even if he is fuck, fuck me. S- screw you, pal. <laughs> oh even God. if he, he is doing whatever the <laughs> blackface up, is of Jews right now, sure. and that's incredibly all, offensive. I ain't got to no me. problem with blackface. Okay. <laughs> First of all, that's history, yo. How are you gonna take history out the history books? Okay. <laughs> All You've right, never huh? read a book in your life. <laughs> books is gay. I, I love will. books. I hang out at the library and I meet First of all, yo. There. First of all, I read. Have you checked my Facebook? I read The Giver. Thank you very much, yo. Y'all all see right. that shit? Yo, the apple. In one scene, yo, the apple was black and white, but then it turned red, yo. Yeah, I only read the first three chapters, <laughs> but that shit's fucked up. Yo, that's a metaphor, yo. I'll just learn what that word means. You don't even know what a metaphor is. Yeah, it is. It's a it's okay, a truck. He, it's a, he's it, Ralph is an imbecile. He's a grade A imbecile. Why, so then, why is he your emergency contact? And why did he show up immediately after you? you know, I was. I told you. I was. Uh, I was. He has at a the very Anthony fast Kumia car. Studios. I have a very fast car. Yo, that shit ain't street legal. I got six lawnmower engines in there on top of my Ford Turbo Taurus. Yo. That's a special kind of Taurus. You got a turbo out Taurus. I got a turbo out Taurus, yo. I got Where do a you work? Where do I work? Yeah, yeah. I work out the Sher- Sherwin Williams out Glen Burnie. Oh, nice. Yeah, y'all need any kind of type of paint? Y'all tell me, yo. What I you like need? the Sherwin Williams logo. Yeah, cover the earth. Cover the earth with paint. <laughs> hell yeah, yo. That could be the new Contown logo, yo. Cover the earth with jizz. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all. Y'all, I took a couple Brandon and marketing classes over at SS Community College, <laughs> and um, it's got to be strong. Your Brandon got to be strong, yo. That's Are my you, take on it. Wow, I didn't. You know, Ralph, I'm really glad you can give us these kind of pointers. I just wish that Slav and Nick were yo, here. Yo, did you just fucking look at me, yo? I don't I'm look looking at you. at you right now. So, yo, shut the fuck up. I'm son. a grown man. I'm I am You ain't no grown man. I am forty seven years old okay. and you will not speak to me like this. I'm fuck tired you, of yo. it. Yo, I'm that's, tired why, of being that's why bullied. our uncle sucked your dick the most. All right. I, I don't remember that. Uh I choose not to. Uh I, yeah, you don't I just remember that shit, yeah? He would take us to the discovery zone. So you're and saying, whoever couldn't do the obstacle, whoever did the obstacle course the slowest got molested. <laughs> that's, that's how you train I champions. Have, that's how you breed champions I out this fucking asthma. house. Yeah. Are you <laughs> telling me, okay, look, guys? I, here's my question. Okay, Rain is Ralph, saying, you're yeah. you're you're implying that your cousin yes. was molested into behaving Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, everybody knows that's how Judaism started, yo. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't disagree with that. I just don't like the presentation of the facts. I wouldn't say that's incorrect, but, you know, maybe I, maybe I chose not to do the obstacle course that fast. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing, yo. In the back of the head, everybody knew he liked that shit, yo. No. We would all get together. Right. Is there something wrong guys, with that? Guys, I know that Is there something wrong with that? Yeah, we Please would... explain to me I in know the, we're the least Lucy homophobic Goosey. terms possible. I know we're loosey-goosey here on Comtown, but Ralph, I think you're really <laughs> heading into dangerous territory. I'm just by spitting facts. About your cousin. First of all, the, history ain't dangerous territory. Historically, this is what happened to Seth. He would get molested after the Savory Zone because he couldn't do the obstacle course, and we would all sit in the back of the room pretending to be watching Martin reruns, but really we was listening to him like getting molested and calling him gay. <laughs> that's it. That's history, yo. That ain't nothing that's wrong, yo. Open your eyes. Thank you. Anyway, what was you saying? All right. Well, I'm Seth, I'm really sorry to hear about the constant abuse that you had to face growing up. 
That's a uh, that, Yo, that was just really he, first of all he ain't grow up with us. That was just during Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, Seth, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in uh, Louisiana. <laughs> oh, that's where you get your classic Louisiana. That's, accent that's for. this is a classic Louisiana <laughs> accent. <laughs> Everyone in Louisiana sounds like this. <laughs> You just sound like, geez, like a real have you, Creole. Yes, it's it's just like, uh, you know, Aunt Jemima speaks this way. Uncle Ben speaks this way. Here's a question. Yeah. Okay, because you're from Louisiana, do you have more of a French perspective on things? Is that <laughs> is that like a... I would say so. I like wearing tight-fitted shirts and eating bread that looks like a penis. <laughs> Yo, uh, I don't yeah, yeah, pause, yeah, I don't, I pause, don't yeah, women should have to pause, yeah, my man gay still, <laughs> that I was, thought you was about to grow out that shit, but I should have known better, First yo. of all, I love women, yeah, I, right, it's yeah. both sexually and politically, yo, I bet you've gone down on a woman before, Wait, of so course Seth, I have, that's, okay, just gay. that's said, how you have sex, yo, I ain't never, Seth, penetrated. you love women, but you're decidedly anti-Hillary Clinton, if you I love am. women, why don't you support the woman that's Ooh, that you right I, I want First Bernie, but I would have sex with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I think Hillary is a beautiful woman, and I would enjoy a body in a in a in a in a way yeah, that yeah, would result right. in both of us experiencing gross. a simultaneous orgasm. But Seth, yo, that shit gross. You yo. divulged to us that yo, you've that had bitch doo doo. Yeah, fuck you've, her. Yo. You've had that's four so circumcisions. misogynistic. Yo, that bitch got hair like my uncle Donald. Yo. And you know what? I donated all of my foreskin to trans people so that they could create new genitals. Hey, what the fuck did you just say, yo? Donald? What a shitty name. You ever think of Donald? Yeah, <laughs> don't talk that way about my uncle. Yeah. All right, sorry. It's just a bad name. I would never insult anybody's name, yo, especially be an ugly Donald. Ass bitch, yo. I think she's gorgeous. All right, first of all, let's be a little bit more respectful to women no, and our, uh, our no, other yeah. guests. Ralph, listen. What? We, we do Man, know. Man, you're making me mad, yo. I understand that Seth is probably one of the most annoying human beings that yeah. I've ever met in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, he was. But we can't. We got to respect other opinions and perspectives here on Come Town. I don't think That's so. the thing that I got upset about listening to the last podcast where Nick and Sav uh, did it with a uh, fa- famous comedian, uh, Dan uh, Soder. Without oh, me. they got Soder, yeah? Instead yeah. of you? They oh, got, that guy's good, they, yeah. They got Soder. That guy's so- funny as hell. Okay, but like... He's a lot better than your dumbass, yeah. You know what I like? The thing is, is, is that uh, they did... It's it. brown nosing. <laughs> is when people do that, is they suck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's much better, yo. They should do that all the time. Dude, Anyway, okay. what were you saying? I'm just saying that, like, they did the... Uh, Asian voices and uh, South Asian voices. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's Yo, something. I love... You I, that, about I think that's hour? despicable. You should never do a voice of any kind of race or gender yeah, that doesn't that, belong that to you. That you don't belong to. Exactly. exactly. I wait, agree wait, with that, Seth, too. But you should Seth, never make a man a caricature. You should never do that, ever. Okay, Unless we're in agreement. It's one of those tasteful ones that you get on Times Square where they make you look like a ballerina, <laughs> but your head is very big. Yeah, ballerina, huh? I wonder why my man like that shit. <laughs> My man like wearing two D's. <laughs> it, no, it's a very athletically demanding sport. Have you ever seen the calves of a male Do you ballerina? Just talk? Yo, ballet, everybody knows ballet is just gay stuff. The shit gay people watch to get in the mood to have sex with each other, yo. <laughs> That's how it started, yo. The prince of fucking Russia... Couldn't get hard, so he looked at men jumping up and down. I, y- y'all think I don't know my history, my motherfucker? I know my fucking history, yo. Dude, but uh, I what think... What are you saying, though, Adam? Listen, I just think that, like, you can make jokes and you can make comedy without having to do belittling stereotypes of of different races. I mean, sure. I think we can... There are a lot of very funny comedians out there. First of all, there's like, truth to stereotypes, okay? Bill Mayer... Um, John Mayer, <laughs> you know, these are guys that are really doing it without um, punching down. You know, they're punching. I know all about they're punching, punching down. Up. You. I know about punching. Punching. Y'all ever get in a fight with me? You're, y'all, y'all only hear, y'all only hear like fucking ten hits. You only punch down. You only hear ten hits. Well, I hit you. You hit the floor. Me and my boys hit you eight more times while you're <laughs> locked unconscious. Yeah, that's what you hear, my man. So I know a little bit about punching down. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, so, yo, this shit's fucking boring, yeah. What the fuck? Y'all got any fucking uh, chicken bosses out here, yeah? I don't have any chicken pasta. I do have chicken peanut- bosses. Chicken box. No, bosses. No, B o x e s, bitch. Bo- bosses. Bosses. You don't know what chicken, chicken box boxes? is? Like a boss of chicken. <laughs> yo, I can't be around this motherfucker, yo. There's too many Jews here, yo. You're Jewish, ain't you? 
I am. Seth is not, and it's he it, might as fucking well. Seth, be I just want to talk to you about. This I'm not caricature. Jewish. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm a Jewish person. What you're doing? It doesn't Seth, make any sense to me. Listen. I would give my last nickel if I never had. To, well, maybe not that far, but I would. <laughs> I would consider it if oh, I could sure. never have to put up with that kind of... Uh, I think the Anthony Cumia show is coming back. Yeah, they're about to um, make a retarded guy get a boner. i got to go watch I'm that I'm late show, for my though. ninth therapy session today, so I have to leave anyways. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah. This shit sucks. I, 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 I'm, I'm grateful that you got my emergency contact here, but I am so displeased yeah, with having you. to be confronted with my awful cousin. <laughs> Uh, most of my family I don't get along with, but him the least and his yeah, molester the least, father. Yeah. What about my dad who molested you, yeah? Well, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm glad he's dead, but, you know, it is a, a, at least a physical relief that I don't have to deal with him anymore. Well, anyway, yo, I got to get the hell up out of here, yo. I ain't, been, I, I ain't about right. to be... Y'all Ralph, will never hear me on this podcast again. I can promise that uh, shit. Probably me not <laughs> uh, either. I don't think... Ralph, I'm coming Seth, back. Seth Fuck Dickfield. you, man. I'm leaving, yo. Fuck you. Seth Dickfield, Ralph... Thank you so much for being with us. Ravens! Ravens number one! All right. Um, I guess I guess it's just me in the studio right now. I, I, I just want to thank you guys uh, for, for listening. Um, I'm just going to take it to break, I guess, and see if I can get Nick and Stav back. Nationwide um, Warehouse! Nationwide Warehouse! We interrupt to bring you an important message. Our everyday low prices are 33 to 70% lower than national change. Nationwide Warehouse! Nationwide Warehouse! But for three days only, take an additional 10% off marked items. Nationwide Warehouse! Living rooms from $198 to $498. Nationwide Warehouse! Nationwide Warehouse! Bedrooms from $188 to $428. Nationwide Warehouse! Mattresses from $24 to $99. Eight feet sold in set. Brand new, free layaway. Hurry! Nationwide Warehouse Sale ends Monday Nationwide Warehouse At Nationwide Warehouse Nationwide Warehouse Eight convenient locations Queens Nationwide Warehouse Bronx Nationwide Warehouse Long Island Nationwide Warehouse Manhattan Nationwide Warehouse Newark Nationwide Warehouse Lodi Nationwide Warehouse Asbury Park Nationwide Warehouse Phone 1-800-252-2232 Nationwide Warehouse Nationwide Warehouse All right, we are back from break Guys, Nick and Stav have agreed to return. Hey, guys, we're hey. back. Sorry, sorry, guys. Got I got a little heated. I got you, a little upset. It got really weird here by, while you were away, and I'm just... Oh, yeah? I Is just, Seth okay? Dude, yeah. Oh, Seth, Seth was here? Yeah, okay. Seth and his... Yeah. And who, who were you telling me came? This guy from Maryland, Carl? Or Ralph? He was Ralph, yeah. Ralph. Yeah, he uh, Ralph he was a disgusting person. Hey, well, that's my culture, man. And, right. uh, and Seth and him are cousins, from what I understand. That's so weird. Yeah, that's crazy. kind of convoluted, wouldn't yeah. you say? Like, kind of have, a stretch? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> wow. It's weird that they both be here at the same time, <laughs> considering, you know, they live... Yeah. So far apart. But man, it's good to be back. You know, yeah. I, 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 I need I, you and I, I, I need you and I don't want I don't want to do this apart again. And I'm sorry for like being being a bitch. dude. That's, right, the, man. that's OK. Um, as long as you understand, like we didn't say anything negative about you on the yeah. podcast. It's like no, you said and we never like, will. Uh, well, that's not true. Okay, but, you know, we accept guys, your apology. We accept and it. I calmed down. I went outside. Me and Stav, you know, we saw this. We, <laughs> we were out there. This kid with uh, Down syndrome walked by. And I just, it just always makes I me couldn't, smile. I couldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> for how uh, proud of him I was. Not like in a yeah, mocking exactly. way. Me too. I, mm-hmm. It felt so good for him that I calmed down. And, um, and the whole town told him he was Batman, right? Yeah, we all pretended he was <laughs> Batman. I went up to him and I was like, you're Batman. And he was like, no, I just pushed the carts here. <laughs> Well, um, it's good to be back. Yeah, yeah. let's catch up. Well, Pe- let's. Yeah, people let's are going to think we're setting up another bit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't what do, do bits? bits. We don't do. You're you know, right. I don't We've know. Never people, done bits. people, I guess, have, have commented on that. They're like, you know, we love the characters, but there's no. None of us. I don't think we, any of us no. do characters. Well, we're working on a couple. Right yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We we were thinking about we, uh, like. Uh, Whoa, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the French one. Let's do the French. Yeah, one. we mean, came up with this character. Yeah. He's like, uh, so he's a French guy. He's French. Yeah, he's French. Hello. Um, 
I am from France. Uh, uh, hello, I am from France too, and I am gay with him. <laughs> uh, we are gay together. We I are gay, and we are French, and we are here, and this is my boyfriend. And uh, we, we kiss each other, and uh, we have uh, one of those uh, bicycles that is like a, a double bicycle, but we uh, use the same seat anyways because it is uh, more gay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, uh, we, he's, good. Uh, my boyfriend is uh, fucking me in the house <laughs> while we are riding on I the bicycle. I love to fuck <laughs> men with my penis. Uh, but yeah, that's the character. So we're working that's on the that. character that's the that, that we were right. working on. That's pretty good. I thought that yeah. went well. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, it was that. better in dress rehearsal, maybe. But I think that it went oh. okay. For yeah, the we real spent show. the last hey. like fucking week and a half trying to figure out, you know, trying to make this podcast. Oh, so oh what about the what about the um what about the four twenty one? What 421? You know that the 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 look. Here's here's the thing. I know it's 420 <laughs> right. isn't a joke to me. You know I take yeah. that shit seriously, dude. Absolutely. But, okay. It's 420 somewhere. Because you know what? It's still a fucking crime. You know. That and is that, true. Uh, uh, people like us are persecuted every day in states like. Luckily, it's legal here in New York. Listen, so <laughs> listen, Nick. we can get we can get fucking 420 ripped up <laughs> right. out on the streets whenever it's, we want. It's legal for white people, and pretty soon it's going to be legal for black people. Well, too. I don't care about that. <laughs> I mean, the first one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, man. Everyone, everyone, worry about yourself. You know, that's you know? the thing is that you can't put you can't put men can't put their laws. On a plant. Okay? Yeah, especially not for other white Thank guys. Thank you. On a plant. Okay. Thank you. I think we're all in agreement here uh, about weed and gay French men. Do you guys uh, want to smoke weed real quick? I would love to smoke yeah, weed, dude. Weed. <laughs> Always I'm smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good, dude. <laughs> this is dank-ass weed, bro. Oh, that's good. Get that binger out there. Dang, gas fucking weed. Get that binger, dude. Get that binger popping. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, (laughs) dude, you see the. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> damn, Nick, stop hitting that shit, dude. dude Nick, look at Nick. that binger rip, Nick, dude. stop hitting that shit, dude, One bro. time Nick hit a binger for a Hold week. Hold on. I'm not oh, even lying shit. to you. No, let me do, I'm going to do the joint on top of it. Oh, dude, you're savage, dude. bro. Dude, Nick uh, is so savage, he just hit a binger and then hit a, <laughs> and then hit a J without even blowing anyway, it out, bro. Well, great start to the second half. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> sesh, dude. I think we had a good smoke out just now. Good start to the second half. We had a what good smoke out. We had a good session. I think that's like what's important. You know, man, the thing about podcasts is you just do them. You just know? do them, man. You just, that's how, that's how you build a listenership is you do them. <laughs> you get good gets, you know. Hot gets. I gotcha. asked my friend the other night what he liked about the podcast and he said he liked the fact that we didn't come on. try at all. Yeah, <laughs> I asked myself, and I th- I thought, what do I like about the podcast? And because I, you know, I th- I've been considering actually listening to it after we <laughs> record it, and no. uh, and then I thought, no, nah, that's stupid. No, um, I'm with you. But good news, uh, I got a friend from Russia. We're gonna hack Mark Marin's email and get all of his guests the week before they really? do. What the Ooh, fuck? Yeah, smart. that's smart. nice. So dude. we got Chuck Mangione coming on <laughs> next week. He's gonna talk about his French horn, aka the gay trumpet. <laughs> 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 that is a gay ass trumpet. Who's kidding? I who? am from France. I, I am a, 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 the, the gay trumpet. <laughs> I love a sex with men. We but play also the animals. horn with our penises. <laughs> we put it um, in the horn. All right. Um, no, uh, I guess here's uh, here's the thing we can talk about. Let's hear is, it. Uh, so I worked a job last week. Can't really talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what kind but, of job? Uh, uh, I can't talk about it. But uh, there was some work. Yeah. Let's say I. Let's say I did a little thing where I had to wear a costume. And He's in Ocean's 14. I'm in Ocean's 14. <laughs> um, I'm in Ocean's 9-11. It's the movie where George Clooney and Matt Damon have to blow up the World Trade Center. <laughs> Ocean's 9-11. <laughs> did we just do that? That's great. That's, that's, a, wow. that's wow, uh, dude. Also, also, national. Yo, bleep that out of the podcast because that's an ace bit that we can yeah, yeah. an ace bit. You know, that joke almost makes me want to get even higher, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> break. Um, Cottonmouth Kings, baby. That's my favorite band. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> um, anyway, you oh, were yeah. saying so. Yeah, I'm job. working this yeah. job, and uh, 
Uh, I want to talk about. Uh, I've tried. I've, I've maybe mentioned it to a couple of people, but you guys uh, are you familiar with uh, Black Nerds? Oh, fuck because yes, dude. a lot of people don't know that they think Black Nerd. They're like, oh, you mean Urkel? And it's like, no, Steve Urkel was a black guy playing a white nerd. That wasn't actually right, a black right, nerd. Right, There's right, no right. black nerd that's actually like that. Black Steve Urkel was a black face. Steve Urkel was a black guy playing a white nerd. Mm-hmm. And then a real black nerd is more like Stefan. <laughs> yeah, 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 is, yeah, is yeah. what Jaleel Stephon. White thought was cool. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's like, I'm actually the cool Urkel. I like Street Fighter and Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear glasses. I got contacts. Check out my leather jacket that I wear in the middle of the summer. Yo, that's like a black no, nerd. No, black nerds, dude. That's an annoying. Thing. Black Go- nerds are like katana type. Yeah, kids. They right? love. Yes, they're, they're all ghost dog way of the samurai. They love. There was a kid. DBZ. They love. Avatar: there was, Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. There was a kid in my uh, Naruto in uh, at po- in po- Baltimore Polytechnic Institute, baby. Uh, fucking engineers, bitch. The Polycrackers. Uh, Baltimore that- Polyamorous High School. <laughs> Baltimore Poly. We all just fucked and fucked each other. Uh, it was a lot of fluid bonding. Um, there was a kid who, when he got mad at the teachers, would pretend he was going Super Saiyan. Oh, he would just he I'm would be horrible. like. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> like it was like all right, all right, Jim, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> this is just fucking. Yeah. And there was also another black nerd who, uh, he was very gay. He was a black theater nerd, actually. Those yeah. are the best. I had he a also knew close karate. friend in high school that was a black gay theater. Black nerd. gay theater nerd yeah. knew karate. This is you know Baltimore, and he would just like people tried to bully him for being gay, and he fu- one time he straight up roundhouse kicked like a thug <laughs> kid <laughs> in the hallway. It was fu- and then just did like a Z snap. It was yeah. fucking incredible, and he was. Notorious yeah. for blowing like straight kids in the fucking <laughs> upstairs. He was the he was the equipment manager, so he had the keys to the closet, and he would just blow kids. All well, the time. that was that was the guy I worked with. He was like a black nerd, incredibly jacked. I had to like change with him. They're like, all the guys change over here, and everybody else is in shape. I'm like, can I just change with the women? Is going to be like a shitty body room? But he is. Oh uh, yeah, he's jacked. He's wearing a wife beater that looks like a Gold's Gym wife beater, but it says Goku's Gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got like a drawing of Goku in the middle where the guy would be living in the And at one point he goes, he looks at me and the other girl and he goes, have either of you ever had the pleasure of watching Avatar The Last Airbender? <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, but no, he would have definitely fucked me up if I even, you know, remotely laughed at any of the things he said, <laughs> right, which were all great. Right, right, right. Whenever Stefan Urkel would enter a scene, just going back to that. Mm-hmm. I love how like I I imagine that the fresh the family matters like audit they had like different signs for the audience like laugh and like whenever Stefan came out they put the cum sign up <laughs> <laughs> and everyone would just be like ah! oh why was he so hot like <laughs> he'd enter and see people be like, hey baby Ooh! that was just Jaleel White being like yeah he was I so want to get tired. pussy yeah he was so tired of being a fucking nerd Brandon Brandon Wardell's gonna do that at some point. He's going to demand that his agents let him play, a, you know, a character he's that's not a, a black face. <laughs> yeah, he's going to <laughs> demand a place to talk. Uh, isn't dude, my so- shit is popping, dude. Mm-hmm. It's time for me to go black. I feel like I feel like Brandon's sort of doing that already, trying to trying to make his brand about. He's doing digital black face. Fucking- <laughs> huh? He's doing digital. What's black What's going to happen to him when he like finally ages out of that? And Maybe then- he doesn't. He doesn't. That's dude. true. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just half, stay. You know, he's uh, half Filipino. He's got good. Good genes, age wise. I think he might be okay. No, but I mean like, I mean intellectually, he ages out. Oh of being no, he'll like never a, intellectually age out of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> nah, he might. Who knows? Who cares? Fuck Brandon. Um, Dude, Brandon actually is here, right? <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Where? You want to go get him? You yeah, go, yeah, go, get, get, go him? get Brandon, dude. Yeah, yeah, okay. um, make sure, just to have him, like, make, tell him that we don't do characters on this podcast. So yeah, just sure. have He's Brandon just come as characters. himself. Yeah. <laughs> any bullshit. Half thought out characters. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, hey guys. Um, <laughs> hi. Okay. Um, so this is. Hey, Brandon. It's hey. us, your friends. Hey, Brandon Wardell is. So yeah. I was, uh, cause we're <laughs> boys. I was just wanted to work out new bits that I do. Oh, okay. Well, okay. this is, you know, it's kind of a conversational podcast. Sweet, but, dude. Okay. Yeah. And, and Can remember, this something? isn't Vine, so you have more than six seconds to do your jokes <laughs> that you stole from oh, black no, people. Oh, no, no. That won't, that won't be necessary, my dear man. Um, okay. All right. And here's the first bit. <laughs> Here's the first bit. Go ahead, um, Brandon. <laughs> so, so Drake, so Drake was. <laughs> please, here's my first bit. 
So Drake was uh, took a Drake had a Pokemon, and I said, "What kind of Pokemon is that, Drake?" <laughs> and he said, "It's a it's a Charmander." And I said, "Drake." You're savage AF, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, savage AF, bro. Yeah, you got zero shit. chill, baby. All right. Hell yeah. Dude. Can I try joke. out another joke? Now I know why you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try it? Go another? ahead, Brandon. Let's hear it, Brandon. So, uh, Justin, Justin Bieber was... Uh, Justin Bieber is in the news. <laughs> Again. <laughs> what are you even doing? Go ahead. And <laughs> this doesn't even sound like Brandon. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack come in and you say, Justin Bieber, is this your Pokemon or is this my Pokemon? <laughs> you sound like Miss Swan now. <laughs> <laughs> Br- Brandon... Brandon's, I, I, Brandon's mom is Miss Swan, I'm pretty sure. His no, dad's on, his, a, his his dad's a, a GI lady. and his mom, I don't know his parents. I won't, I won't stand for We can talk about shit on Brandon, but not the Wardells. They are lovely people. Uh, you've met his parents. Yeah, no, they're great. Um, why? Did you go to his bar mitzvah? <laughs> yeah, I went to his bar Last year, his bar mitzvah last yeah, year. Uh, I believe I'm so, so, guys, 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 still in the room right now. <laughs> oh, sorry, hey, Brandon, you're still here. About, hey, buddy, get out of here, man. I, I like that, that Brandon is just emo Phillips. <laughs> yeah, 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 what I'm the not, fuck was he even that boy? I met Drake <laughs> the other day, <laughs> and uh, Drake was lit. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon was just like the guy from the, <laughs> the, the B-52s. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I'll <laughs> Anyway, the Snapchat <laughs> is a little love <laughs> place where we can rip off black Twitter jokes. <laughs> He's going to hear this and get mad. For sure. Yeah. He's we can have him on and we'll squash the beef. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's we just the, that's the point of podcast. You start the beef and then you bring him on the pod yeah. and you squash the beef, dude. That's what yeah. pods are all about, baby. <laughs> I, you know, I agree with that now. And I think we've come full circle because initially I disagreed with that idea but that they're for are. beef squashing. But now I, I you know, I... I think I agree with it, and I, I no longer think the podcasts are about like, you know, being funny or really having anything to say. Absolutely or, not. You know, no, 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 we'd no, be no. having fucked. conversations that aren't just like sort of cyclical and, and making fun of the same people <laughs> or, over and over again. No, I got sixty-five new Twitter followers. I am drunk on power, mm-hmm. and let's keep keep it going with this podcast. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be great. W- right now, I think what would be the best what the people demand is if we play a clip show of all the best moments. <laughs> we should do the, the next one. From the last three <laughs> episodes. The last three episodes. Um, some, I got, some of the hits from I got the past. some tweets about some people's favorite parts of the, our episode. Can we stop doing this? This is pathetic. Yeah, this, this is the fourth is... <laughs> one and we're talking about we're talking about it as if it's fucking anything Dude. i don't know i just ate a lot of bread so i'm kind of like uh i'm kind of sleepy well, let's i want to tell it. come nation come town just to keep listening because we have tons of topics issues discussions and <laughs> other things that are going to be coming up in the next 55 episodes of come town i'd love to talk about you know how's everybody doing fuck wise it is come town is everybody fucking? Yeah, we all we already did that last week. Did None we? of us said fuck. N- there's no. Oh, here, Adam's uh, not girlfriend is here. We'll just <laughs> we'll just give her a microphone and she'll. It's Michelle, true. do you want to come on? <clears throat> She's been sitting here in the background the entire time. Someone thinks maybe we're we about could. to do another. She was trying to watch porn and yeah, no. There's now we <laughs> can't in- introduce anybody. This is falling apart. Everyone's gonna think it's a no. character. This is fun though. So you don't want to just come on the pod. Real yeah, quick. Just, you have to come on the podcast because we got to fill 10 more minutes and <laughs> we need something here. You take my microphone. Oh, no. Take take. So, Adam, guys, this have... is my FWB, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> and you please don't use my real name. Um, her, that's not her real name. Her real name. <laughs> her real name is. Well, go, we, we go won't say it. we won't say what a real name is. But so we understand that you don't want to uh, date Adam. Is that true? Not at this moment. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't answer for the lady. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think so. That's good. No, no, tell us why. I love this. This is great. Oh, let's hear why. Let's <laughs> hear. <laughs> no, I understand. Adam is kind of a piece of shit. Kind of annoying. He's kind of annoying, sure. Um, <laughs> what about him is annoying? This is great. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like something we should do <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool to like sm- fuck every once in a while and like yeah hang sex out. is great yeah is I'll he good at fucking that. I'll give him is that is Adam good at fucking he's so, I, I, think, I think he's I think he's okay lie. at fucking he's okay 
Like, what would That's you what give him? a cushion is feeling. A C I'm, plus? I'm, in, I'm enthusiastic. I don't think I'm good at it. I just think I'm passionate <laughs> so about it. So he's like a... But he likes to cuddle afterwards. He's a big cuddler. I could tell that about him. Yeah, of I course. am too. I feel like we're in the same zone where it's like, I'm going to try my hardest, but that doesn't mean anything's going to happen. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean it's going to be a great turnout. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But that's what I found that... Uh, so if Adam was better at fucking, would you want to be with him? <laughs> 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 be honest. <laughs> Grab a mic here, Nick. Take Adam's mic. Fuck well, Adam. No, I think... If you, I had like an undeniable dick. I mean, maybe the sex is good, so I don't want to date. Oh, uh, interesting. But no, no, no. Don't give us that bullshit answer to, <laughs> to make Adam feel better. But if he was like... How so? You saying he fucks at about a seven out of ten right now, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, six seven to seven, six to seven, six to seven. She bumped you down. Uh, six to eight. I mean, six to eight. <laughs> six to eight. On your best day, you get you hit an eight. B's not bad, dude. But the one to ten scale, the one to ten scale for men always translates directly to inches. <laughs> For yeah, women, see, it's I don't about really the care rest. about inches. I don't Ooh, think that really matters. What, what are you, gay? <laughs> <laughs> I love inches. Hey, this is great. Um, oh, yeah, I'm back on now, by the way. This has got to... I got to move so, this. But if he was a 10 out of 10, would you be with him? Um, <laughs> would he be... If he was better at fucking, <laughs> would it, like, uh, equal out how annoying he is? No, I don't think it'll ever equal out. Oh, okay. I think it's just I think it's just there forever. <laughs> That's so I good. I try to tune it out. That's great. So what are you let's find you a man. What are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a podcast listenership uh, of over forty five people, I think. Um I don't know, I guess somebody who doesn't cook me breakfast. <laughs> See, so you is, want to be treated is, badly. This is a major podcast flaw because the only way podcasts work is if you have a girl, but only when you just tell them to shut up all the time. Okay, okay, that's fair. All, all the alpha male podcasts. Can I myself for a second? You're not on camera. We don't have mic. another. Sorry, we only got yeah. three mics. This is. Uh, you know what? That's twenty minutes. So, <laughs> hey guys, that was the second half. Uh, <laughs> You gotta <laughs> look. As some podcasts, they know what they're doing. We're not just kind of like, you know. Hell fucking, yes. You want a good podcast? Uh, we got uh, our friends, sort of a sister podcast, Chapo Trap House. Yeah, listen to that. Which are everyone who listens to this is just people they told <laughs> yeah. to listen to this. Really? That one's, yeah, they're very funny guys, but they're also like, you know, if you're into like, have you listened fucking to knowing it? who the president is? They're smart, smart shit. Guys, they're not shit. dumb pieces. I don't of shit. do that. I'm not like a homework guy. You know, I'm we're just not fucking not, nerds, dude. We we're not homework nerds. We don't like plan out what we're gonna say on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we just fucking get real and have a good time, and we we fucking you know what we do? We get 420. We get 420. <laughs> 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 I just want to also thank my friend with benefits, uh, M Michelle, for being Which on the podcast. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. And I just want to say you bring a lot of joy to my life. Well, Even don't if, say you're not, if you're not my full girlfriend, mm. I don't care because you still make me happy <laughs> when we're together. If it makes you happy. Oh, that's so, so good. So I'm going to just say that out there to the world and everyone well, listening. Is that Great. Cheryl Crow? I think so. You know what I was doing the other day is... Uh, are you strong enough to eat my ass? <laughs> <laughs> that was stuck in my head for like six minutes. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for uh, listening to Come Town, guys. Uh, follow me at, on Instagram at Stavi Baby, S T A V V Y Baby. Uh, I'm naked as hell, and I think you'll really like it. Um, I don't have anything else to plug because my career is bad. But yeah. anybody else? That's fine. I'm at, uh, I'll be back on Red Eye on June 9th. Fox News. Uh, Fox News, uh, 4 a.m. programming. Uh, four, yeah, 4 a.m. It's on from 4 to 4.01 a.m. <laughs> Only in uh, American Samoa. <laughs> in Guam. Yeah, in Guam. Um, but, yeah, thanks for listening to the final episode of Come Town. <laughs> it's not the final episode. It's been and such I a think good this is going to sound run. good. Uh, it's been a great run. We've had, you know, three great episodes. Probably we'll be, the best run of any podcast. We're going to roll a, a best of next week, so. Yeah. Uh, I think we already we already made that joke. Oh, did we? Yeah, Fuck. we did. Next uh, week we're doing <laughs> next week we're doing uh, something a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit more planned out. We're doing we're finally doing my plan of this American come where we're going to we're going to have a host. We're going to have three different stories about uh American come <laughs> and uh 
and uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, it's actually <laughs> illegal to transport raw cum across state lines. Really? It's got to be pasteurized. What uh, if it's <laughs> pasteurized? You just swish it in your mouth a little yeah, bit yeah, and yeah. spit it out. Well, you have to swish it fast enough that it heats up, like one of those yeah, yeah. Vitamix Louis blenders. Pasteur, dude. Yeah. You don't know the science. It's a French guy that did all these experiments oh, with cum in his mouth. I know a couple French guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're forgetting that we Hello? already we already yeah, did know, the French guy. Hello? We were just no, bicycling no, frozen. No, no, stop, stop. Let's end it. We were ending it. Yeah, yeah. No, we're ending it. This is That's the end of this. Jesus Christ. My what boyfriend a fucking nightmare. has his penis. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank goodbye, you. Goodbye, everyone.